Today, I made a full compilation video of every single Gorilla Tech update I have ever made on this channel. I started playing Gorilla Tech in September of 2021, but I didn't make any update videos, so I missed out on Halloween, Christmas, Winter, and Valentine's Day ones. However, my first update video was from the house update in 2022, so that's where the video starts. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment when you started playing Gorilla Tech. The brand new Gorilla Tech update is out right now. Let's check out what's new. So the first thing you may notice when you log into the game is that the board has changed and it now says that winter is ending everything's starting to warm up again and maybe soon the trees will blossom also the gorillas have found some old household objects laying around i'm not sure they know how to use them correctly though and when you go outside you can see the map has changed back into the old map it has now defrosted and you can finally hear the good old grass sounds again when you go into the city, you may notice that the Valentine shop is now gone, and now there's a house shop. And the first new cosmetic is this plunger hat for 2,000 shiny rocks. The next one is a cookie jar for 3,000 shiny rocks. And we also have this saucepan hat for 2,500 shiny rocks. I quite like this one, I might actually buy it. Now here's the household items the board was talking about. The first one is a silver wrench handheld item for 4,000 shiny rocks. There's also a golden one for 4,500 shiny rocks. And then we have these silver utensils for 4,500 and golden ones for 5,000. Are you going to buy any of these? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe. If you've seen my previous video, you'd know there's a creepy man standing in the window watching everyone in the city. I was really interested in finding out who it is, and today that's exactly what we're doing. I got my friend, uh, Kiwi. My friend Kiwi glitched out of the map to go closer to the man. I began, or I'm, I'm, he began by pushing himself behind the event shop and then snapped out of the map and into the void. He later squeezed out his hands and just like that, he's free. Thanks to some mods, he's able to walk on air and go anywhere without falling out. Oh yeah, if you didn't know, the city has cool textures on the outside. Now you can see he's walking to the man in the window. There's a bunch of different conspiracies on what it is or who it is. Some say it could be Paul. Who do you think it is? As you can see, I was able to get closer to him and... That's right, it's a mannequin head. Same exact one you see in the mall. But this one is a different color. Make it seem like he's inside the apartment. I went inside but there was nothing in there. You may be wondering why he's so low, and that's because it's all about the angles, and we only really get to see him from the city. I looked around to see if he has any neighbors, but he doesn't, which is weird. I'm really interested in knowing why he's even here. Why is he the only one here? Why is he looking at us? Is there anything that we don't know? Or is it just a harmless easter egg by the creator? Ah uh, yes, the spring update is finally here. The board says new mountains map. Wow, we it's been a while. I hope everyone enjoys the new map, which has a large focus on new sliding mechanics. Check it out in the city. There are also some new spring cosmetics. I was pretty busy, so I didn't finish them all. More will be here in the coming days. Oh my god, there it is, the spring shop. Let's see what they have. So we start off with two coming soon items and move on to the cute rabbit ears, brown and white, both of which cost 2,500 shiny rocks. What is this? A butterfly? Okay, that's kind of cute. But wowee, that price. Then we have two more coming soon items. And what looks to be a four leaf clover hand item for 3,500 as well as a gold one for 4,000. Oh hey, look, a free item. I'm not exactly sure what it is though. Looks like a piece of grass. Dude, I look so good with these bunny ears. Or maybe I should buy the white ones. The butterfly is really small, I'm not going to lie. I wish it was bigger. Here's the four leaf clover and the gold one. Here's the brand new map. Wee. Yeah, it's really fun. I literally just woke up and there's an update. Happy St. Patrick's Day everyone. Oh yeah, it's St. Patrick's Day today. There's a new leprechaun hat in the store as well as a pin for all the mountain enjoyers out there. Have a fun day and be safe everyone. There it is for 3,000 shiny rocks. And there's the pin for 1,000 shiny rocks. They both look cool actually, but I'm still gonna wait on the other items before I spend money. What about you guys? Are you gonna buy them? Let me know in the comments. We have another update this week. Let's see what's new. Why is the board yellow? That was a quick one. There's a new obstacle course in the city. You'll need to pass it to join the competitive queue. If you were in the competitive queue before, you've been switched back to default. Everyone needs to go through the course to join again. This board now turns yellow if there's a new message of the day. This should help you not miss out on the latest news. There it is. Whoa, that looks really cool. These shops down here make it look pretty creepy. There's also a crystal here. And one of the shops is a sunglasses shop. That's interesting. All right, let's give it a try, I guess. I'm not really a big competitive guy, so I probably won't play, at least not yet.
No! Dang. So close. No! What? Oh my god. After a really long time of trying, I I still could not do it. That's how new I am. Guys, I started playing last month, okay? I think I got it this time. This is totally not VMT playing. Are you able to do it? Let me know. Okay, I get it. There's a new update. Last week, we talked about the man in the window and how lonely he is. Staring at us while we're just having fun down here. But now... Oh, jeez, it's much closer than I expected. Anyways, guess what? He has friends. First of all, these tilted buildings are actually low-key creepy. Like, I'm serious. Why are they so close now? And why are they tilted? Like last time, my friend Kiwi glitched out of the map to get a closer look. And the textures are still there. But there's definitely more mannequin heads now. In fact, there is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's 8 of them in total. People started more conspiracy theories, and some believe that each of the head represents an in-game moderator watching over the players. And as much as I liked that conspiracy theory, unfortunately, there's only 5 moderators, and there's 8 heads. Some also believe that it represents the Gorilla Tech YouTubers, which is also not true, because there's definitely more than 8 of us. This building isn't even a building. Also, can we just talk about these 3 heads for a minute? Why are they looking down? There's nothing down there. Like always, there was nothing inside the building and nothing hidden outside the map either. Wow, we have yet another update this week. Let's see what's new. The board says spring is finally here. For real. The rest of the spring cosmetics are now in the store. And the cherry blossoms have bloomed. A much requested feature is now in. You can hold items in your hand separately from the badge slot. And you can hold them in either hand. Or even in each hand. The slippery surfaces have also been adjusted a bit. And oh my god, that is beautiful. I love it. We finally have the rest of the cosmetics too. The first one is a silver cherry blossom branch for 6,000 and then a regular one for 5,000. Those are kind of pricey to be honest. And we have two new hats. We have a blue flower hat for 3,000 and a pink one for 3,000 as well. To be honest with you, the branches aren't really my kind of a thing, but I like the idea. The hats are okay, but if I'm being honest, my favorite one is the leprechaun hat. Now here's something new that I love. You can hold an item and have a badge at the same time. Love it, Lemming. Keep it up. The new April Fool's update is out right now. Well, Kind of. The board says there's a new time of day. I felt like things were getting a little samey. Hopefully everyone likes the new change of pace. Fixed a few different bugs. Most notably, it should be a lot harder to get out of the map for now. And oh my god, look at this beautiful sunset. I'm not even going to lie. It looks cool, but it's also kind of creepy. I think this means that Gorilla Attack now has a night and a day cycle. The other maps seem to also have been updated, thank god. Also, one huge mistake by Lemming. He accidentally re released the April Fool's update today. It's gone now, but there are pictures that show people wearing a very creepy white mask. Some are saying it's just a bug. Well, it's not a bug, and he confirmed it. Today, we have a brand new update in Gorilla Attack. Let's check what's new. There's a brand new set of cosmetics in the store. Better stock up on your rain gear. It looks like it could start raining in the near future. What? Rainy. Okay, interesting. We have a yellow raincoat for 2,000 shiny rocks. A rain hat for 2,000. Um, rain boots for 4,000 shiny rocks. And it looks like we also get cloudy boots for 4,000 as well as golden ones for 5,000. Then we get three Easter badges which are just cute tiny monkeys. Oh my goodness, 3,000 shiny rocks is too much for a badge. Finally, we get one Easter egg hat for 2,000 shiny rocks. This could mean that Lemming is going to add weather changes to Gorilla Attack, like he recently did with Nighttime. So here's a raincoat. So this could be the beginning of jackets in Gorilla Attack, guys. I don't know if I want this hat or not. You can still see your hands with the boots on, which is weird, but that's how it's supposed to be apparently because of the holes. The cloudy ones are probably my favorite ones, and here are the golden ones. So this is the full set. The badges are cute, but too small to cost 3,500. I'll probably save my shiny rocks for now. What about you? Happy Easter, everyone. It's time for another update. What? Nemo! Happy Easter, looks like we're in the rainy season. There will be some new weather happening from now on. There's a new queue available. If anyone wants to play mini games, now we can join a queue just for those. Check it out in the queue tab. There are a few new cosmetics available in the store as well. They should help keep the rain off. Oh, okay. Looks like we get three umbrellas. The colorful one for 5,000 shiny rocks, a black one for 5,000, and obviously a golden one for 6,000. Oh my god, Lemming, help. Yo! 
go! These look sick! I love these umbrellas so much and the fact that you can open them makes them so much better. This gives me so much hope for the summer cosmetics. There's new light almost everywhere and honestly they make the place look so much more chill. And here's a salt lamp. Dude that's so chill. This might actually be the best Gorilla Tech update so far. After a few long weeks and several delays we finally have a new Gorilla Tech update. Let's see the board. There are new music themed cosmetics available in the store. I'm trying out something new, so I wasn't able to finish everything. There's more coming soon. Hopefully people can get to jamming with each other. What? Oh my god, there it is. The music store. Whoa, that's crazy. This gives me 80s vibes and I'm all here for it. First we have this red wig for 2500 shiny rocks. And a black one also for 2500 shiny rocks. Then a face mask for 3500. And face paint for 2000, which actually looks pretty cool. Four coming soon items i wonder what they could be banjo drums i think for 3500 shiny rocks and finally even more drums for 4000 shiny rocks well that's just that is so cool personally i don't actually like the wigs that much the mask is cool though and so is the face paint now the moment you all have been waiting for the drums they're just so cool and i'm definitely gonna have to buy them just listen you can actually play them. It was totally worth the wait. Good job, Lamming. Let me know what you think in the comments below. I was looking through the Gorilla Tech files using Unity and I found unreleased cosmetics. Just wait till you hear how awesome they sound. As we all know, we have bongos and the drums. Well, look at this. Look at what we have here. Guitars. We have an electric one as well as an acoustic one. I think they look amazing. One of the reasons I didn't spend money on the drums is because I wanted to wait and see what the coming soon items were and i'm pretty sure these two are almost ready to be dropped i'm sure you're dying to know how they sound so let's go through all the sounds together first we have the bongos then the drums And, for some reason, a heartbeat sound. So clearly you can hear some of the sounds aren't even used. Like, we even have the bong. And now, the guitars. As you can hear, these are the new guitar sounds. I quite like them, and I might even buy one for myself. What do you guys think about the guitars? Are you going to buy one? And what about the other two coming soon items? The second part of the music update is out. Let's see the board. The rest of the music update is here. There are some new guitars to play with and a new song that plays in the forest at night. There's also a campfire and the green leaves are back. Muting other players will also now mute their instruments. You can change the volume of other players instruments on the computer. Ooh, okay. So this is a tab where you can change the volume of the instruments. Now let's go see the guitars. There they are. I told you guys in my previous video, some of you guys didn't believe me. Okay, so it looks like the electric guitar costs 5,000 shiny rocks and so does the acoustic guitar and then we have the golden versions for 6,000 each which is interesting because I thought there will be more instruments wait what it's a handheld item oh my god we can hit people Okay, kind of weird it only plays one note maybe I'm doing something wrong I don't know I've never played a guitar before Same with the electric one, they both look awesome though. And here are the gold versions, very, very shiny. And now we have the good old map with green leaves. Feels so good to finally have the green leaves back. What do you guys think of this update? The summer update is finally out guys, let's check the board. The summer update is here. Have some fun in the sun with some of the new cosmetics, featuring work from some new artists. Check out the details on the credit screen. There's a new game mode available on the beta. It'll only be around for a few days since it's still being worked on. But you can check that out if you're interested. Oh my god, that's awesome. But I'll leave that for another video. There it is, under the sun. 
Whoa. So we first got this sunburnt face item for free. The sunscreen costs 1500 though. Um, a seagull, a goose for 3500 shiny rocks. Then we have these cool party glasses for 2000 each. Red and blue, black and green. Then we move on to the popsicle for 3500 shiny rocks. And uh, a bubble toy machine thing for 5000 shiny rocks. Ooh, a rubber ducky for 5000 shiny rocks. Yes, I just know everyone will be so happy with this. A flamingo floaty for 3500 shiny rocks. And an ice cream batch for 2500. The ice cream is pretty funny. I like it. Whoa, it is a bubble machine. That is so cool. I love the bubble sounds. Here are the glasses. Pretty nice. And the seagull thing. Wait, does it move? Oh my goodness, it moves. That is hilarious. I love it. The sunscreen and the sunburnt face. Why does it low-key look kind of creepy though? And here is a rubber ducky. Ooh, it makes a sound. I'm gonna be so broke this update. Here's the flamingo floaty. It looks good. What else can I say? I gotta buy it. The popsicle is melting. I wonder if it actually melts. Lemming and everyone who helped, you guys are awesome. Great job. There's a brand new game mode in Gorilla Tech. Let's try it out. The board says, thanks for checking out the beta. There's a new game mode, battle. Hit the other gorillas with your paintball slingshot to knock off their balloons. Last survivor wins. Remember, this is just a beta, so things are kind of wonky. Handheld cosmetics are disabled for the game Game mode while I figure out a better way of handling it. Switch hands by pressing the game mode selection buttons with different hands. Remember, this beta will be going away in a few days. It sounds very interesting. Wait, this is sick. Do I just shoot people? 15 minutes later. Okay, so now that I'm a paintball professional, let me teach you how to play. When you join a lobby, you gotta wait until the game starts over, but you get this cool color. Now when the game restarts, you'll hear a countdown until the game begins. Chip. Everyone gets three balloons, and you try to shoot those balloons using your slingshot. It looks kinda silly when everyone's just jumping around, but it's actually a really fun game mode, and I like it a lot. Got him once, and you're done. You're done. Oh, no, 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 no. Wait, can I hit you? Got you. Dang. How dare you? Ha, <laughs> got him. What do you think of this game mode? Gorilla Tag had a massive game changing update today. Gorilla Tag news, more monkeys join another Axiom, which is the company's name. Please visit GorillaTagVR.com slash blog for more details on the state and future of the game, Lemming. That was easy. Now, I know you may be scared. Trust me, I was too. But it's good news. If we go to the website, there's a long post. And I'm only going to read some of the highlights. I still don't really feel like a game developer, even though I've been doing it full time for over a year. When I first started working on the game that would eventually become Gorilla Tag, I wasn't intending to make something that over 4.5 million people would be playing. I want to keep building a world where it feels like you aren't playing a video game, but you're visiting a place that's alive, real and changing. I want to add new places, new systems, new ways of interacting with the world. And I want to keep building that as a place we can all be in together. I've been really struggling keeping up with doing all of that. I've had some support, especially from my moderators, and help with the in-game music and art. But for the most part, it's just been me, which has meant I can't push the game forward as much as I've wanted to. And this is basically why we haven't gotten many updates. Today, that's changing. I want to introduce David Newbelt and David Yi, both very experienced game developers with years and years of knowledge. Then he goes on to say he wants to make Gorilla Tech a virtual world that feels like a real place. You're going to see us working on bigger things including game modes, maps and mechanics. And in the spirit for how I've been making the game, we plan on sharing and getting your feedback along the way. We're excited to experiment with the new slingshot that we have in beta and want to release it soon. We're starting work on new environments and updating the layout and flow of the world that we have today. We're working toward a substantial update as we look to release on the official store and other platforms. We're trying to be ambitious with our plans. We want the game to grow organically and keep the focus on making the game as good as we can make it. To do that, we're actively looking to grow the team and beginning to work with more people to match our scale to our ambition. Now, this is huge news, guys.
guys. Absolutely massive, probably the biggest update ever. Lemming finally has a team to work with. This means we're going to get a ton of new and big updates to the game. What do you think of this update? Let me know in the comments below. There's brand new Gorilla Tech cosmetics hiding in the files. Let's check them out. I opened Gorilla Tech with Unity and I saw that there is now a Pinball 2022 folder. And inside, there's lots of stuff like the hit counter, some targets, and a few other things. In the prefab folder, you can see a target, a paintball mask, another target, and a paintball vest. And if you dig even further, you can see that there's another version of the cosmetics, which leads me to believe that it won't be a cosmetic you can buy, but rather it's going to be a part of the team battle mode instead. I looked around and found these two balloon textures, which I think are going to be part of the game. There are also star balloons with very similar textures. Now I wonder if there's going to be a different paintball game mode where you have to get as many points as you can or if it's going to be part of the main team battle mode. What do you think of these items? Let me know in the comments. The new update is here. Get your slingshot ready and prepare to splat. Prepare yourself with some of the new limited time cosmetics in the city. Are you gorilla enough to wear the fabled cardboard armor? Okay, that sounds interesting. Let's check it out. Oh, by the way, subscribe please. Thanks. Whoa, there it is, the paint brawl shop. Coming soon. Okay, why? Oh hey, it's the masks from our last video. Turns out they are a cosmetic item after all. 2200 shiny rocks each. Next up we have this mask with a mouth for 2200 as well. And the armor vest for 2500 shiny rocks each. Oh god. Damn, you're gonna make me act up, Lemming, what is this? Okay, no, but what in the world is this thing? Is that an actual legal Gorilla Tech cosmetic? A whole cardboard armor for 5,000 shiny rocks. And then we have a shiny armor for 5,000 as well, coming soon. I wonder what this item will be. And then a POW flag for 5,500? That seems kinda expensive. I like this here, it costs 3,500 shiny rocks. Whoa, what is this? Coming soon? Oh, okay. I think these are the balloons. So you can customize your own balloons. That's cool. Here are the two masks. They're not bad. And this one is alright. Oh, and here are the full sets. I think I would rather go with the green one, because it's easier to blend in with the grass. Now this one makes me feel strong. Okay, but this. This this is a huge full body cosmetic. I guess this opens up new possibilities for cosmetics. And here's the shiny armor, which I actually like. Oh, what is this? So you gotta press all of the buttons for the flag? And the last one is the hair. I like how it moves with me. So team battle is now gone, and we have paint brawl. I think that means we're back to no teams. Oh look, targets. Do they actually do anything though? Or are they for practicing? There's some more targets here. Let me know what you think about this update in the comments below. As you may know by now, the new update was released yesterday. And we got a bunch of new cosmetics and a new permanent game mode. But there is something not many people noticed for some reason. The hidden shop. Well, it's not really that hidden, but it is a secondary shop. It features these items, a star with a face on it, a diamond with stripes, a donut and a heart. Well, what if I told you that we may have an idea what these items are going to be used for? Drum roll please. They're balloons! Wow! Yup, that's right. Since this update is mainly based around the new Paint Pearl game mode, I think these might be balloons. Although there is no confirmation of that as right now, but come on, what else would these be for? When you play a game of Paint Pearl, you always have three balloons attached to your back. And these balloons are just normal balloons. So now, you have the option to customize them whenever these come out. I think it's a really cool idea and I might actually buy the donut or the star myself. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. This is Gorilla Tag's biggest update ever for sure. First up we have the board. Trick or treat, it's Halloween time in Gorilla World. Make sure to stock up on candy at the store. There's a free fun sized bar available for everyone, but you might not want to go alone. I've been hearing that things are a little scarier this time of year. You might want to bring some friends along to keep you safe. Okay. I'm like already in love. There we've got the cosmetics. Oh nice, we have a cauldron. Ooh, okay. So we have a slingshot for 5,000 shiny rocks. Hey look, we have a free item. Up first we've got not one, but two pumpkin hats. If you saw my concept video, you'd know that I wanted a pumpkin hat. 
2,000 shiny rocks each? A sheriff costume for 4,000? Now these are awesome, and these I also wanted to be added to the game. 2,200 each. A superhero costume for 4,000? A clown costume for 4,000? Wait, I like it, but I thought we already had a clown costume. A chocolate bar for 3,000? A unicorn for 5,000? Lucy for 4,000? A robot costume for 5,000? And a unicorn costume for 4,000? Again, I like that we have the full body cosmetics now. Oh, and a spider web umbrella for 5,000. Is that in utero by Nirvana? The pumpkin hats look cool, but they're kind of big though. Here's the sheriff costume. Nice. The unicorn costume? the robot costume, and the clown costume. Alright, I kinda like the clown one. Should I buy it? Then we have the chocolate bar and the sandwich. Not interactive. Here's Lucy from the teaser. The cobweb umbrella, the very, very creepy eyes. <laughs> and the slingshot. Okay, I'm in love, I'm buying this. Oh, interesting, the balloons are out too. It turns out the balloons are not for paint roll, they're just regular balloons. That might be even better. Wait, 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 so the old cosmetics aren't coming back? No, there's, there's no way. The city is full of Halloween decorations like this skeleton buying a pumpkin, or this shop filled with pumpkins, or this monkey looking outside at the- Oh my god! Wait, we've got gorilla tag lore. Is that a dragon skull? Ain't no way you would just let this guy steal your arm like that, dude. Holy crap, they went all out in this update. Lots of decorations. Is that Boda? Boda buying an arm. I, d I don't even want to know why. And we've got more skeletons here. Whoa, look at how beautiful the forest looks. There's the giant pumpkin from the teaser. Is that a graveyard? Oh, I just know people will make some fun mini games here. Wait a minute, Lucy? See? She has a body now. I love the cauldron and the pumpkin decorations. Hey look, it's me trying to get good at gorilla attack. Spooky. What did I just walk in on? Alright, let's check the other maps now. Okay, so we've got nothing in the cave. Wait, what is that? Is that a skeleton? Alright, Lemming, listen. The mines were already scary, okay? You did not have to add anything. Hi. Oh, we have bats. That's so cool. What is that sound? What is that? Is that coming from the speaker? Whoa, what the f What is that? What is that? I'm sorry, but what? More Gorilla Tag lore? PBBV part 2 leaked? I think that's all. Oh wait, no, there's another skull. Oh, that's awesome. Anything new here? Whoa, is that a spider web? I swear to God, if I see a damn spider, I'm uninstalling this game forever. I swear to God. Okay, no spiders, just skeletons. Mountain map. My question is, how is the snow not melting? Holy crap, there's a lot of skulls in this one. In my opinion, it was totally worth the wait. What do you guys think of the update? You guys didn't believe me when I said the old cosmetics would return. But look where we are. Oh no, the city is haunted. The costumes from last year have risen from the dead. The Halloween flashback sale is now active. The cosmetics from last year are now available in the store for a limited time. Get them before they're late to rest once again. Flashback sale. That's cool. Oh, there it is. The Halloween flashback sale. It seems that it's only for a short time, so you guys should run to the store and just buy anything while you still can. We have the clown costume for 4,500, the werewolf costume, the vampire costume, and the costume, all for 4,500. Then we have the small pumpkin hat for 2,000, the mummy hat for 1,500, the pirate hat for 1,500, the witch nose for 1,000, and the boo bag for 2,000. That's interesting. It used to be free. You guys were so mean to me, but I was right the whole time. Where's my apology? The bag is alright. The mummy hat is cool, but the vampire costume is awesome. You did not see anything. The werewolf costume is cute. Here's the pumpkin hat and the witch nose. And then we have the pirate hat, the princess costume with the wand and the clown costume. Are you gonna buy anything? Let me know. The fall update is out. Let's see what's new. Gobble, gobble, gobble. It's fall time. So make sure to stay warm and cozy with friends and family. Enjoy playing in the hail bales and grab some tasty treats from the store. There's also some activity appearing in the canyons. What are they up to? Oh, I see something over there. There we have it, the fall shop. All right, we have a pie hat 
hat for 2,000 shiny rocks and a scarecrow hat for 2,000 as well. Then we have uh, this thing for 1,500 and I think that's a grape pie for 3,000, a ladle for 3,500 and a saucepan for 3,500 shiny rocks. Then we have a turkey for 4,000 and a crayon can for 3,000 and then two candy apples for 3,200. Oh my god, it's cool. It's cold! And a turkey leg for 5,000. And then we have the free item. Oh, it looks like we also have a new turkey balloon. Here's the balloon. It's very cute. Oh, and uh, I think these are olives. Ew. Do you guys eat olives? The turkey leg. Hum. What? Guys, you can eat it. That's so cool. Now we have a bone. Who wants to get boned? Wait, no. Me want meat. Me want meat. Then we have corn. Oh, you can't eat it. And then we have the two candy apples. You can't eat them either, but they're cool. Uh, what is this? Is this normal Thanksgiving food? Oh no, the turkey makes sounds. It's gonna get annoying real fast. The saucepan is nice, and so is the ladle. I can play golf. Then we have the pie. Yes, you can eat it. Oh, I forgot. Nobody eats a crust. And here is this thing. This should have been the free item. The pie hat is cool. Oh my god, go away. And the scarecrow is giving Harry Potter. Alright, let's check out what the forest has for us. Oh, uh, subscribe please. Thanks. Whoa, there is a lot of new things here. Um, I'm stuck. Oh, that's going to be a trap when playing Infection. Lots of hay bales here. We've got leave. That's actually a good hiding spot though. Ooh, what do we have here? A hay bale house. I like this. More cornfields. You can see stars inside this one. Oh, and look, a scarecrow. Please don't spawn like Lucy and scare the hell out of me. What is going on with the canyons? What is this rope for? I think this is a mine shaft now. I quite like this update. What do you guys think? The Thanksgiving flashback sale is finally out. The board says <laughs> the turkey lag is back. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Follow the flashback sale signs. So it's exactly like the Halloween flashback sale. And there it is. Oh my god, it's very small. That's what she said. <laughs> we have the scarf for 2,000 shiny rocks, the leaf mask for 3,000, the turkey gloves for 4,500, and the OG turkey leg for 3,500. I can't get over how small the shop is. It's cute. So here's the old turkey leg. You can't eat this one. This is what happens to people who don't subscribe. So you should subscribe now. Subscribe! Here are the turkey gloves. Or finger puppets things. How the hell do you do this thing? Did I do it right? And then we have the leaf mask, which is kind of weird. Oh, and the scarf. Okay, bye. Yes, you read the video title correctly. And no, this is not clickbait. Gorilla Attack is actually going to be deleting the early access pack in two weeks from today, on December 15th. But why? Let's check it out. Electronic, the community manager, made an official announcement saying that Gorilla Attack is coming out of App Lab, which is early access, on the 15th of December. He then says that the early access pack will not be available after the launch day and that the items will never return to the store rotation. So if you want to grab it, now is the time to do so. This means that the early access pack will have exclusive cosmetics that you will never be able to buy ever again. That's right, not even a flashback sale. Let's quickly take a look at what the items are in the early access pack. You get a total of 12 cosmetics which include the banana hat, the black glasses, the blue sun hat, the coconut hat, the cowboy hat, the fez, the red bucket hat, the red glasses, yellow sun hat, the top hat, the silver cowboy hat, and the early access badge. And all of those cosmetics together are worth $47.46. This is all for the price of just $10, which in my opinion is such a good deal. And no, they're not paying me to tell you this. But if you want cheap and exclusive cosmetics, you definitely should buy the early access pack before it's gone. I'm very proud of how far this game has come. Congratulations Gorilla Tag on the official, official launch. Do you have the early access pack? Are you going to buy it? Let me know in the comments below. Guys, we've got some massive news about Gorilla Attack. It will now cost money. So subscribe and let's look into it. Electronic, one of the community moderators, said, Hey everyone, we have some news today about the Steam version of Gorilla Attack. We appreciate all of the support we have gotten on this platform and always wanted to keep the Steam version free. But we have to face the reality that we spend a pretty insane amount of time fighting hackers and malicious behavior from PC accounts. And there are still pretty widespread issues with hackers ruining games. 
lives for people. Any time we spend on trying to stop people from ruining the game is time we can't spend on making the game better, so this ends up hurting everyone. Sadly, because we want and need to focus on the future of the game, we've made the difficult decision to charge for the Steam version as an extra deterrent for people evading bans. Anyone who currently has the game will continue to own it, and you will not be required to purchase a game. If you already own it, you own it. However, for new accounts, the Steam version of Guerrilla Attack will no longer be free to play, and the game will have a purchase price effective immediately. The game will cost $20, and anyone buying the game will get the equivalent value of Shiny Rocks, a total of 5,500 upon their first login, which includes 5,000 for the purchase and 500 for being a new user. Think of it as basically requiring new Steam users to buy that Shiny Rock bundle. Again, anyone that owns Guerrilla Attack and has it in their library will continue to own the game and keep all of their account purchases. Everything stays the same for current players. So this is massive news. And here's what Lemmy had to say about the situation. It means Guerrilla Attack will still be free to play in the Oculus Store, but it will cost on Steam. Hopefully this doesn't have an effect on the growth of the game, but I don't think it will, since everyone who has a headset has to have access to the App Store. I'm having mixed thoughts about this update, I really hope it can stop the hackers, but I also hope it doesn't kill the game. Let me know what you think in the comments below. The new update is here, let's check it out. The board says rejected humanity, became a monkey. Welcome to the launch. Celebrate and support us with a day one pack and launch to the clouds. Interesting. Let's go see what they're talking about. Um, what is this? Whoa, it's like a current going up. But before I go in, I gotta remind you to subscribe. It helps me make more videos like this one. Okay, so what happens if I go in? Whoa, dude. That was epic. Is this a new map? No way. We've got a new map. Oh, you bounce higher since you're in the clouds. Well, that's cool. What if I fall off the map? Oh, okay, so you can't. I really love the ambient sounds. It's so relaxing. We have huts with TVs and cushions. Okay. This one has a wheel you can sit on. Um, hello? I think this might be my favorite map now, and I'm not even joking. Whoa, what is this? Do I need a monkey to pull me up? That's very interesting. What? I got glitched out. New cosmetics. It's a launch bundle. Get these cosmetics plus 10,000 shiny rocks. Whoa. So for $20, we get a day one hat. I think these are rings, right? And a launch day t-shirt. I'm gonna make a separate video on that later, so subscribe if you don't wanna miss it. Even more new cosmetics? What is going on? The team went all out on this one. Looks like we get a rainbow slingshot for 5,000 shiny rocks, a cloudy shirt for 2,000, and an umbrella for 5,000. I think this is an Indiana Jones costume for 5,000 shiny rocks, an Alvin Presley costume for 3,500 a tux shirt for 2,000, a stump head for 2,500, a rainbow in the clouds for 2,500, wings for 3,500, a very scary looking gorilla hat for 2,000 shiny rocks. I wonder what would happen if I... Oh god! We've got some rings for 2,500, then we've got a fan thingy for 3,500 shiny rocks. I like that one. And... Uh, one of those like trumpet things for 3,500 as well. Then we've got a frog. A frog? For 4,000 shiny rocks. And a flag for 3,000. Do we have a balloon? We do have a balloon. 3,000 shiny rocks. That's really cute. Oh my god, even more new cosmetics. What is happening? Lemming, my views are down. How do you expect me to buy these? Let's first check out these ones. Here's the balloon. A very cute monkey. And the flag? Okay, the frog. Whoa, that's so funny. Wait, hold on. The trumpet. Nice. The fan. Oh, it moves if you run. That makes sense. The rings become monkey. High five. The other rings. Wait, oh, so you can't have both at the same time? Well, that sucks. The gorilla head. Not creepy at all. The wings. Ooh, okay. So they move more the faster you go. The tux shirt. God, I'm so hot. The tree head. I... <laughs> I don't even know. The rainbow hat. And here's the Edwin Presley costume. It's not bad. I haven't seen any of his movies though. And here's the Indiana Jones costume. The umbrella, with the cute little rainbow, the cloudy shirt, and the slingshot. Whoa, that's satisfying. Listen. 
And then we have these cosmetics right here, starting off with a yellow gorilla attack flag for 2000, a hat for 1000, a shirt for 1000, a black hat for 1000, another one, a shirt for 1000, and then you can buy the bundle here. So here's the I Heart Gorilla Attack shirt, cute, and here's the hat, and the other one, and here's the yellow shirt, looks bad on me cause I'm light yellow, and the yellow hat, oh, and the flag. Um, a rocket ready to launch? I think that means we're gonna get a live event sometime soon, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about the newest Gorilla Tech cosmetic bundle, the limited time special launch day pack. Is it worth it? Watch till the end to find out. As many of you already know, Gorilla Tech finally launched from early access to the official Meta Quest store, and with it came a ton of new cosmetics, a new map, and a new cosmetic bundle. Rest in peace, early access pack. The new cosmetic bundle is priced at $19.99 and consists of three exclusive cosmetic items. The day one dead cap, gorilla tag rings, and the shirt. But not only that, it also says the pack includes 10,000 shiny rocks. So what is the value of the pack? Let's start with the shiny rocks. As you know, you can buy shiny rocks in the city, and for $20, you can buy 5,000 shiny rocks, meaning that the value of the launch day pack is already up to $40. That's already off to a good start. But next, we have the cosmetics. These cosmetics are exclusive, and you can't buy them separately. However, you can buy similar ones such as these two shirts priced at 1,000 shiny rocks, or these hats, which also cost 1,000 each. If we go by those prices, we're already up to 12,000 shiny rocks. The last item are the rings, which are also exclusive, but there are two different ones in the shop for 2,500 shiny rocks, which brings us to a total of... 14,500 shiny rocks, or roughly $62.50. If you saw the early access pack video, you'd know that the value of that pack was $47.46, or 11,500 shiny rocks, and it included 12 cosmetics, and 3 of them were exclusive. So even though the launch day pack costs twice as much as the early access pack, you're still getting 3 exclusive items and 10,000 shiny rocks for yourself. So is it worth it then? For $20, I'm saying heck yeah. How many of you have bought the launch day pack? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't noticed yet, there's a giant rocket standing outside of the city map, ready to launch into the sky. It launches a few times throughout the day, and nobody ever knows when. I decided to camp the city map, and I literally spent two hours waiting, and I'm not even joking. Here I'm speeding up the video a bit because of how long it was. This next guy thought I was a ghost. Guys! Why is this person- ah! What the hell? No, I came in this stuff and I saw him just standing there like this. And when I came back, I'm in the same server. No. Then I met this guy. Hi. But he ended up getting possessed. Someone recognized me, but I didn't talk. No, that's not the real, that's not the real TV. TV, TV speaks. Also, TV wears glasses. Then I got recognized again. Oh, wait, I think I know you. Are you a girl or a boy? And then I almost got recognized again. Cheesy, is that really you? The common guy. Wait, wait, wait. wait I know, know, it's not the YouTube. real one. Talk right now, huh? At this point, I was ready to leave, but I decided not to. But after two hours, I lost hope. It was five in the morning and I needed to sleep. Right after I get off, I see people in the Discord saying the rocket launched. Oh my god! The next day, I decided I'm gonna sit and wait until it launches, no matter how long it takes. So I sat there for almost four hours. Yes, four hours. But then this happened. The rocket finally launched and I got it on video. If the dedication doesn't make you subscribe, I don't know what will. So, how often does it launch? It's random. If you look at the times the rocket has launched, you'll notice how random it is. It isn't exactly every hour or two. You just need to be lucky. Have you seen the rocket launch? Let me know in the comments. Gorilla Tech just announced the holiday update. The official Gorilla Tech Twitter account wrote saying, December's not done. 
Neither are we. Chili updates to come. Just wait for about a week. Obviously, this is a huge announcement considering they literally just dropped a massive update the other day. And now we're getting another one. In the photo, you can see a snowman decoration and a monkey wearing a Santa hat and a beard in the background, possibly hinting at a new Christmas related cosmetic coming to the store. We also see snow as well as Christmas lights in the background, meaning we will most likely get a ton of Christmas decorations in every map, just like they did for Halloween. Oh, and and Lemming says this update will be cool. I see what you did there. Are you excited for Christmas? Let me know in the comments below. Happy holidays everyone. The new update is now out. Let's go check what's new. Ho ho ho. The holiday update is here. It is the little things that make this time of year. And we hope that playing Gorilla Tag is a big part of your holiday season. Have fun in the snow and try out all the new additions. Please welcome all the new monkeys to the family. I'm seeing snow, that's a good sign already. Oh, by the way, all I want for Christmas is for you to subscribe. Thanks. Whoa, check this out. Look at the Christmas tree. Wait, the launch update is still here. Oh, look, I think the Christmas items are upstairs. Let's go. There we go, the, oh, this is beautiful. The first item seems to be a stick of some sorts for 4,000 shiny rocks. Jeez, so then a gorilla doll, I think, for 4,000. Is this a coconut? or a chocolate jelly, 3,200. And then the gingerbread man, also for 3,200. Oh hey look, a snowman costume for 4,000 shiny rocks. It's funny how I had the same idea for a cosmetic. <gasps> oh my god, look. First, I think that's uh, a sock hat for 2,500 and a Christmas sweater for 2,500. And then we've got gloves for 3,000 shiny rocks, both from my cosmetic concept videos. Then we've got deer antlers for 2,500 and a hat for 2,500. I think this one belongs with the snowman. Then we've got a deer snout for 2,000 and new Christmas rings for 2,500 each. Then we have a Christmas umbrella for 5,000 shiny rocks. 2023 glasses for 100? That's pretty cheap. It might be a mistake. Who knows? Ooh, a Santa Claus costume for 4,000. And then a dark side Santa for 4,000. Hello there. Aren't you guys cute? Starting off with the Dark Santa costume, I really like it. And the normal Santa, cute. Then we have the 2023 glasses. Yeah, I can see why they're so cheap. Here's the Christmas umbrella and the new rings. Oh, you can finally have them in both hands. Here's the reindeer set. It's actually kind of creepy. And the snowman hat, which is really big. And then we have the sock hat, which seems to be glitchy. And here is the ugly sweater and the gloves. I love them so much. I might actually have to buy them. Here's the snowman costume. It's massive. And the gingerbread man. Oh yes, you can eat it. And here's this thing. What is this, five doubloons? Then we have the... And the stick. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm stupid, but 4,000 shiny rocks for this? That's definitely not a good price. Let's go fishing. What is this? Whoa, can I go in? Oh my god, I can. What? We're inside of the snow globe. How cool is that? Look at how massive the city map is. That's awesome. Now let's go back. Oh, I'm so dizzy from that. Anything new here? Oh, hi. You're absolutely terrifying, bro. Check out all the candy canes. And here's the forest map. Hmm, it's missing more lights. In the teaser photo, there were Christmas lights on the branches. Weird. Cute little gorilla. Comment below what we should name him. Let's check canyons. Is there anything new in the canyons? Of course there is. Massive ornaments. And snow. Oh, and more Christmas lights. Well, that's good. Can I have one? They forgot about the caves. But they didn't forget about the mines at least. Let's check if evil Santa will spawn and chase me like Lucy did on Halloween. Last but not least we have the mountain map. If I'm being honest, this map doesn't really need that much since it's been icy all year long. What do you think of the update? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. The holiday flashback sale is here. We were cleaning up in the back and found some extra stuff from last year. Everything must go. Get these classic items before they're gone. Sorry about the one that fell out of the snow globe. Follow the sign to the city. Oh, that's cool. Oh, hey, look. It's called an overstock, not a flashback this time. 
Oh, and please subscribe. We're trying to hit 100k this year. I see you over there, but let's start with these. We've got the elf hat for 2,000 shiny rocks, the present hat for 2,000, the snowman hat for 3,000, the old Santa hat for 3,000, the snowflake for 2,000 shiny rocks, the ornament earrings for 2,000, the sparkler for 5,000, oh, and the candy cane for 4,000. Now, what is this? 5,000 shiny rocks. And whoa, I like that it's spinning. So here's the elf hat, not bad. The present hat looks unique. Here's the snowman and it's so cute. The old Santa set, the snowflake on the nose thing, the earrings which look so funny, the sparkler which I know many of you really wanted, and here's the candy cane. Subscribe or else. Oh my god, this candy cane is massive. It barely fits into my hand. Wait, no. Here's the old one and the new one side by side. Isn't that crazy? Are you going to buy anything? Let me know. The winter update is finally out. The board didn't change for me. Maybe I'm too early, but let's go check the shop. What is this? Ooh, okay, so it's like a mini maze. And it has a snowman inside. And here's the winter sale shop. Looks like we've got a winter hat for 2,500 shiny rocks. I think that's an ice cube hat for 3,000 shiny rocks. Oh my goodness, I love this. It's an owl hat for 3,000. This brown hat for 2,000. Then we have an orange jacket which costs 3,000 shiny rocks. And these winter sweaters for 2,500 each. Oh, and we've got matching gloves for 3,000 each. Glasses for 2,200. A scarf for 2,000 shiny rocks. This was actually one of my concepts. We needed more scarves. Giant ears for 2,500. Um, okay. And then hot chalky walkie for 3,500 shiny rocks, which is also one of my concepts. Nice. A snowflake sword, I think, for 5,000. And a penguin plush for 4,000. Oh, and a shovel for 4,500 shiny rocks. All right, let's go check out this maze first. It works exactly like the snow globe from last update, which everyone loved. Oh, hey, look, we found a snowman. Now what? Oh, there's an exit over here. That's good. Let's start off with the shovel cosmetic. It's massive. The penguin plush. Oh god, it's one of those. Love it. Oh wait, this is an ice wand. You already know I have to buy it because I'm a magic monkey. Then the hot cocoa. Very cool, I like it. Ears. Anyway, the scarf, which looks much better than the gray one. These glasses are alright. The winter sets. And here's the other one. And the last one. Here's the orange jacket. And the brown hat. Wait a minute. We have this hat already. So they just remade it. The old one and the new one. They've improved. Oh yes, the owl hat. Someone please make an owl man ghost. That would be so cool. An ice cube hat, which is cool. And this hat. Right, that was a pretty cool update. Are you guys gonna buy anything? Let me know. Are we getting a new map in Gorilla Tag? Maybe a new game mode? Possibly. Watch till the end to see me go through the wall and also talk about the most popular theory. Let's take a look. As you may already know, yesterday we got the Winter 2023 update, and with it came a bunch of new cosmetics, as well as map adjustments, including this painting on a wall behind a shop in the city. But what does that mean? Obviously everyone and their grandma started panicking, making their own theories, saying it might be a new map or another secret tunnel. This time, however, it seems like the developers wanted to make the little teaser a bit more obvious on purpose. So what could be inside? Well, let's look at the most popular theory, which is capture the flag. But before we do, can you please subscribe so we can reach 100,000 subscribers this year? Thanks. In the flashback sale shop, you will see it's full of snow, but when you go inside, you'll instantly realize it's so much more than that. There are two teams that seem to be having a snowball fight, but there's one thing that stands out the most, the flags. Why are there flags? In the forest, there's a very similar structure. However, there are no flags. Just this very creepy Illuminati eye looking thing. I decided to go on Unity and check what's behind the wall. But no luck. It's not in the game yet. It is, however, very close to the forest map. So if they added a tunnel, it would connect with the forest, which I doubt would happen. I mean, look at how high up the tunnel would be. So what do you guys think is behind the wall? Let me know in the comments. Guys, we got two new updates today. I'm gonna post two videos, so subscribe not to miss out. Happy birthday, Gorilla Attack is two years old and Cupid has paid us a visit. Check out the store for two free birthday items, the limited time sweetheart pack and some favorites from last year. That sounds interesting. Whoa, that is one massive cake. Check it out. It says GT2 on it. Oh, here's the GT2 badge. It looks kind of similar to the one I made for my concept video. 
which I can't even post anymore. Ooh, and we also get a cupcake. But where are the party fingers? Hey, look, there's a cake on the second floor. So here's the cupcake. You can eat it too, that's awesome. I like how I just ate the candles and everything. And then we have the GT2 badge, which looks cool. Both of these cosmetics are free, so you can get them too. Today we got two new updates. I already posted the anniversary one, so be sure to watch that after this video and subscribe for more. Happy birthday, Gorilla Attack is two years old and Cupid has paid us a visit. Check out the store for two free birthday items, the limited time sweetheart pack and some favorites from last year. Hey look, it's the Valentine's Day sale. It seems that it's a flashback with some new items. Let's check it out. First up we have the black rose for 4,000 shiny rocks. Then we have the gold rose for 5,000, the pink one for 4,000 and the red one for 4,000. Valentine's Day chocolates for 3,000, a heart badge for 2,000, heart glasses for 2,000 shiny rocks, a heart beanie for 2,500, this armband for 2,500, a new Valentine's Day sweater for 3,000, a cute teddy bear plush for 4,500 and we even have balloons. 3,000 shiny rocks each. They look super cute. Oh, and here's the sweetheart bundle, which looks like it includes a Cupid's diaper, a bow, and a heart ring for $19.99. And this is without shiny rocks. Uh, is it worth it? I'll let you be the judge. So here's the green balloon. It says super cool on one side and go bananas for you on the other side. The red one says monkey forever and you make heart swing on the other side. Here's the teddy bear. Oh my die. And here's a sweater, cute. Here's this thing, I like it, Picasso. The heart beanie from last year, the heart glasses, this heart badge, which is actually animated, box of chocolates, I can't even grab any of them, and the roses. Starting off with the red one. Here's the pink one, the golden one, and finally the black one. Oh, anyways, are you going to buy anything? Let me know in the comments below. Let's review the brand new sweetheart bundle pack in Gorilla Attack and see if it's worth it or not. As always, all opinions are my own and I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. As many of you may already know by now, a few days ago we got the Valentine's Day update, the Valentine's Day flashback update and the two year anniversary update all in one day. But we also got this brand new sweetheart bundle that consists of three cosmetics. The bundle costs $19.99, which is the equivalent to 5,000 shiny rocks. Oh hey, subscribe so we can hit 100,000 this year. The first cosmetic in the bundle is the Cupid wings and the Cupid cloth or diaper, whatever you want to call it. It's important for you to know that this is just one cosmetic and the wings cannot be worn separately. I know many of you only wanted to wear the wings, but you can't. The second item is the Cupid's bow and the third cosmetic is the hard ring. So far it's looking decent. You're basically paying 5,000 shiny rocks for three cosmetics. Now, unfortunately, the bundle is broken on Steam just like the launch day pack. So right now nobody can buy it. I just find it so strange they don't fix the launch day pack first before releasing another one. Either way, using a mod in a private lobby, I was able to temporarily get the cosmetics for the purpose of this video. Here's the Cupid wings and the diaper. The wings actually move when you're running, which is pretty cool. And the cloth also moves. Imagine if we get pants in Gorilla Tag. Now here's the heart ring. If you put it up to your mouth, you can blow kisses. I like that little effect. And as far as the bow, it wasn't working in my mod, so I'm using clips from other YouTubers. Shout out to these people. Apparently the bow has a better accuracy than the slingshot, which is cool. I also like the sound effects. So yeah, the bow is pretty awesome. For some reason, a lot of people thought the Sweetheart Bundle comes with a launch day pack and I have no idea why. It doesn't even say anything about that. So anyways, is it worth it? Well, it's not like a crazy good deal like the last two bundles. You don't really get free shiny rocks or like 10 cosmetics. But if you can afford it and you like the cosmetics, then why not? It's the price of 5,000 shiny rocks and most cosmetics cost 3 or 4,000 anyway. So buy it if you like it. As some of you may already know, we have a new Gorilla Tech update coming in just two days. Originally, I wasn't going to make a new video about it, but just a few minutes ago, Gorilla Tech posted a little teaser to Twitter. But first, subscribe to the channel so we can hit 100k this year. Yesterday, Gorilla Tech's official Twitter account posted 
posted this saying three day notice limited time to grab the current winter and valentine's items the sweetheart pack stays for now we are taking them out of the store in approximately three days to make way for new cosmetics make sure to grab them while you can okay but where's the winter flashback sale it's extremely delayed for some reason and the cosmetics already exist in the file so nobody knows why it's delayed so much anyways someone commented i like when they post teasers and they replied with this photo showing a monkey wearing some sorts of a football nfl type helmet and the jersey this could mean that the next update will be american monkey football related and i would not be surprised are you excited for the new update let me know in the comments the 2023 winter update is here watch till the end to see all of the new cosmetics and an update on the secret tunnel in the city the air is crisp there's no better time to enjoy the great outdoors in winter if you're are if you're are looking for excitement winter sports are perfect for you make sure to grab the free paw badge as well while it's in the store okay sounds interesting let's go we're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year so it would be awesome if you could subscribe thanks and there it is the winter sale here's the hockey set from the last video i thought it was football until you guys told me it was a hockey helmet i don't really do sports i'm a youtuber the hat costs 2000 shiny rocks the jersey costs 2500 the gloves cost 3000 and the hockey stick costs 4000 there's also a green version and the prices are the same and here is the shop we have moose antlers for 2500 a penguin hat for 2200 and a penguin body for 3000 shiny rocks look at the cute feet then we have a polar bear set for 5000 shiny rocks holy that is long i'm about to act up only 1500 shiny rocks for all of that bad here's the free badge we have a winter umbrella for 5000 shiny rocks a new ring for 2500 a wolf plush for 4000 i think that's a hot pocket for 3200 and i think that's a snow gun for 5000 a polar bear plush for 4000 which looks so adorable and a slingshot for 5000 shiny rocks there's no new balloons Ooh, and the tunnel is still closed but now we have these torches which weren't there before i think i wonder if it's a hint or something what do you guys think is behind the tunnel? Here's the slingshot. Oh, I love the sounds. The polar bear, which is basically like the teddy bear from the Valentine's Day update. This gun. Oh look, it shoots out snowflakes. I still don't know what this thing is, but you can eat it. And I think that's cheese and pepperoni inside, so I'm calling it a hot pocket. I don't care what you say. Then we have the wolf plush. It's another one of those. Here's the ring, World Champions 2023. Is this going to be rare? Then we have the umbrella, which also has a lot of snowflakes, much like TikTok. Then we have the paw badge. Why is it so big? I mean, at least it's free. Here's the carrot nose. I can literally poke someone's eye out with this. The new polar bear set. It's not bad. The penguin set, which is probably my favorite. Oh my god, look at the little feet. And then we have the moose antlers. Here's the first hockey set and the second hockey set. If you like hockey, then why not? Personally, I'm not a fan. B-R-R-O and B-B-B-R-O. Does someone know what that means? There are no changes made to the map. What do you guys think of the update? We have a new sneak peek for the next update. But before we get into that, hit the subscribe button. And let's hit 100k this year so I can make my mom proud of me at least once in my life. Electronic just posted this picture to the official Gorilla Tech Discord server saying, Whoa, just got a sneak peek at something new. And all I can say is that it's going to blow your mind. Showing a monkey sitting on top of a fan of some sort, which appears to be blowing air. One thing I would like to point out is that the monkey on the fan is wearing a light blue beanie and has the rosy cheeks which if you don't already know are the cosmetics from last year's winter update could this mean we're getting the winter flashback tomorrow and what about the fan electronic says it will blow our mind so what is it for in the background we can see the mountains map so maybe it's gonna push us on the ice i don't even know let me know your theories in the comments below the saint patrick's day update is out mountains has had a stunning transformation and created the perfect conditions for play stay warm on the ice with the winter flashback spring is near forest has begun to thaw be on the lookout for signs of green and the pot of gold pack 
Finally, the snow is gone. I've missed the forest. The ice castle is gone too. Oh, hi, uh, subscribe. And here's the winter flashback shop. We have the beanies for 2,500 shiny rocks each. There's a blue one, a pink and blue one, a green one, and a red and white one. And then we have the icicle for 4,500. Everyone and their grandma wanted this one. The rosy cheeks for 2,000, earmuffs for 2,000 shiny rocks each. And we have the black one, green one, pink one, and a white one. Then we have the St. Patrick's Day cosmetics too. The leprechaun hat for 3,000, the gold leaf clover for 4,000, and the regular one for 3,500 shiny rocks. All right, here's a regular leaf clover, very basic. Then we have the gold one, fancy. The leprechaun hat, which I actually bought last year. The white earmuffs, pink ones, green ones, and black ones. The rosy cheeks, I look so kawaii. Ooh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, please do not subscribe, I'm sorry. The icicle, I have to buy this one. The red white beanie, the orange one, the pink blue one, and the blue one. So here's the new bundle. Get this fancy pot of gold bundled with 5,000 shiny rocks in this limited time DLC. And, oh, 20 bucks for 5,000 shiny rocks and one tiny cauldron? Hmm, I don't know. It's like the packs are getting less and less items. To be fair, 5,000 shiny rocks cost $20, so you're basically getting one cosmetic for free. Let me know if you want me to make a video about it. And last but not least, the mountain map. Um, okay, nothing new. Oh, there's the fan from yesterday's video. Let me guess, it's gonna shoot us back to the start of the map, isn't it? Wee! Okay, that was kind of fun. Let me try that again. Yes! I love it. What do you think about this update? Let me know in the comments. The secret tunnel in the forest and the new tunnel in the city are starting to open up. But before we get into that, subscribe. That's it. Let's go. Today, we got a brand new St. Patrick's Day update, which also brought us a brand new bundle and the winter flashback sale. But one thing, actually two things people didn't notice, is that the secret tunnels are actually starting to open up. Let's start with the one in the forest. It now has sand leaking out. This is 100% not done by accident and was added here on purpose by the developers. Although we can't go inside, I was able to use Unity to fly through the tunnel to see what's inside. And nothing, as expected. If I click on the sand, it just says sand patch, which confirms it is in fact sand. But other than that, there are no other hints. If I had to guess what's going to be behind the tunnel, I'm gonna say a summer related map since summer is not that far away. I just hope it's a beach of some sort with water so we can swim. And here is the secret tunnel in the city map. It now has a door. The file's name is called Dungeon Entrance, basically confirming there will be a dungeon behind this door. But since the wall behind the door is too close to the forest, there will most likely be stairs leading down into the dungeon itself. I believe we are really close to solving the mystery. Leave all your theories in the comments below. I'm gonna read all of the comments and I'll see you guys soon. One kinda hidden easter egg from yesterday's update is the new single controller mode. When you join Gorilla Tag with just one controller connected, it will now automatically detect it and your second arm will be locked to your torso, allowing you to move around and jump with just one singular controller. But how difficult is it? Well, let's find out. And here I am. Oh god, this already feels so weird. Look at me. One of the hands is stuck to my belly. So, I haven't even played for that long, but my hand already hurts. So you better subscribe. I gotta swing twice as many times if I wanna get somewhere. I mean, so far so good. It's a little harder, I will admit, but with enough practice, I think I can make it work. Let's try some infection. Maybe I can tag someone with just one hand. All right, I see someone up there. Challenge accepted. I'm just gonna bounce wall to wall, not a big deal. Yes, I got him. Then I spent some time chasing this guy until I heard this. Finally, a fair and square opponent. And never mind, he lied. He has both arms. I don't even need to try. Yeah, because you're using both arms. I have your own left arm, dude. I'm literally bad at you. Stop the cap. <laughs> and finally, after practicing for a while, I almost got him. There we go, the good ending. Climbing isn't that bad. It just feels weird not having a second arm. I saw this guy only using one arm, so I jumped down for a little challenge. Where's your ankles at? Where's your ankles at? 
your mom at? But then this guy joined the lobby and ruined everything. You're Shut up, you f***er. You have a f***er. Shut up. Uh, no thank you. Uh, you're you're done. done. Hey, Electronic, I know you subscribe to my channel. It sounds like this guy misses your stick justice videos. Watch this. Come here, boy. <laughs> oh, I dropped my controller. Still. I hate running into things with just one arm. Go, bro. I'm helping you, bro. Oh, you suck! You're the one who needed both arms to tag me. Overall, this is actually kind of fun. Like I said, once you get used to it, it's easier. Gorilla Attack is still testing out this mode, and you can help them by testing it out and sending them feedback through the official Discord. I'm not being paid to say this or anything. I just like seeing Gorilla Attack evolve. Next week, Gorilla Tech will be getting rid of 35 plus cosmetics. But why? Well, let's find out. But before we do, hit the subscribe button and let's try to hit 100k by the end of the year. It will be a dream come true. Yesterday, March 17th, Gorilla Tech made an official announcement, giving us a 7 day notice saying, You only have the next 7 days to grab what you want from the long list of items leaving the winter flashback items, the hockey team outfits, and the champion ring 23, which will not be back and the St. Patrick's Day cosmetics. Oh, and the pot of gold is not leaving just yet. And then they say 35 plus cosmetics are leaving this time. The orange pom-pom hat, the blue pom-pom hat, the striped pom-pom hat, pattern pom-pom hat, white earmuffs, black earmuffs, green earmuffs, and pink earmuffs. Moose antlers, carrot nose, hot snack, ice slingshot, snow blower, dog toy, polar teddy bear, winter umbrella, paw badge, penguin suit, and polar bear set. Rosy cheeks, icicle, and the hockey set, which includes the jerseys, the helmets, the gloves, and the hockey sticks. And obviously the champion ring 23 will not be back. The leprechaun hat, four leaf clover, and the golden four leaf clover. This could mean that we're getting the Easter update next, and perhaps even the house update flashback. What do you think of this announcement? Let me know in the comments below. We've got some very exciting Gorilla Tech news as they just posted a sneak peek for tomorrow's update. But before we check it out, please subscribe to the channel and leave a like on the video. Now let's go. As many Many of you may already know, tomorrow, Friday, March 24th, we are getting a brand new update and Gorilla Tech just posted this sneak peek showing the dungeon in the city, but it finally opened. The photo shows this button, which I'm guessing you have to click to open the door. Inside you can see the new dungeon area and a pink monkey wearing a wizard costume. Are you kidding me? A wizard costume? This is literally going to be my favorite update. I already know it. The monkey is going downstairs, which is what I predicted. But everyone kept telling me how wrong I am. Either way, this is massive news. We're getting a new area in the game in less than one day. Also, someone on TikTok posted this troll mask, this diamond item, and this bone slingshot. But these aren't official, so we don't know if they're real or fake. Subscribe to stay up to date on all Gorilla Tech news. The dungeon update is out. Let's check it out. Basement update. Gear up and enter the treacherous maze. Face terrifying foes and put your fate in the hands of other players. Will you emerge victorious? or fall to the boss's deadly grasp. Play now and find out in the basement. That sounds interesting. Do we have another Lucy in the game? Subscribe to the channel and let's try to hit 100,000 subscribers this year. And there it is, the basement shop. First up, we have the wizard set for 4,500 shiny rocks. Then we have the knight set also for 4,500. We have this viking beard for 2,200 shiny rocks. Then this troll set for 4,500 shiny rocks. This dumb and dumber haircut for 2,000. These elf ears for 1,500 shiny rocks, a guitar for 5,000, a ring for 2,500, this badge for 1,000, this cute dragon plush for 4,000, the viking set for 3,500, a wizard staff for 4,500 shiny rocks, and a bow slingshot for 5,000. Oh look, we also have a balloon for 3,000 shiny rocks. Check it out, we have a torch here. First up, we have the dragon balloon. It looks pretty cool. Here's the bow. That's kind of satisfying. Then we have this set. It's alright, but not really my style. The dragon plush. That's adorable. Here is the badge, the golden ring. I am the Lord of the Rings now. And here's the guitar. The 
ears, the bowl haircut, the troll costume, looks kind of funny, and the beard. Then we have the knight costume, which I like, the wizard staff. Oh look, it actually shoots out particles when you hit the ground. And lastly, here is the wizard set. I really like this set, and many of you may know me as a magic monkey, so maybe this will be my new cosmetic. What do you guys think? Anyways, let's get to the more important stuff, the dungeon itself. So do I just click on this... Oh my god, okay, hello. That's kind of scary. What? What the? What, what was that noise? Oh, you're joking. There are actual monsters in Gorilla Tag now. So, here's the basement. It looks like a nice place to just sit and chill in. And here's the maze. I don't know what to expect, but I'm scared. Oh my god, what is that? Wait, no. Huh? Am I in the back rooms? What is this? Oh, a secret cosmetic for 4,000 shiny rocks. So here's the secret cosmetic. I can't grab it for some reason. Subscribe if you want me to escape the maze. Gorilla Tech just announced a new program they made for content creators. So let's check it out together. But before we do, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one. The official Gorilla Tech Twitter account just tweeted this, saying, content creator monkeys can join the Gorilla Tech creator troop for special badges, chats with the developers, and more. Apply to join the first tier, the finger painter monkey. And then there's a link to the forum. In the forum it says the Gorilla Tag Creator Troop is a program for content creators that love Gorilla Tag. Being part of the troop connects creators to the developers of Gorilla Tag and gives them special rewards for posting content about Gorilla Tag. If you love Gorilla Tag and making content about it, joining the Gorilla Tag Creator Troop is for you. Then they provide the link to the forum where you can apply to join the program and a description saying, through this forum the Gorilla Tag team can learn more about you, your content style, and your community. After completing the form, please wait patiently. Groups of creators are accepted into the program at a certain times. The form displays the schedule of acceptances, and you can refer to that schedule to know when you will hear back from the Gorilla Tag team. If you are accepted, the Gorilla Tag team will respond to you with the following information. An invitation to the exclusive Gorilla Tag Creator Troop Discord server, brand guidelines for all future content, and that month's sponsored segment topic list. Once accepted, you are considered part of the Finger Painter tier of the Gorilla Tag Creator Troop. And here's more information about the first tier of the program. The Finger Painter Gorilla Tag content creators love Gorilla Tag and have a community that is passionate about the game. They play and post about the game often. The main perk of being the Finger Painter is an in-game badge that shows to players you are a Finger Painter creator and prevents players from impersonating you. Creators of all sizes are invited to apply to be a Finger Painter. So that's very cool news. You can apply no matter how many followers you have and you can even get a special badge. Here are the requirements for finger painting creators. You must be authentic to Gorilla Tech. This includes considerations such as posting Gorilla Tech content prior to applying for the creator troop, passionate about Gorilla Tech, a community interested in Gorilla Tech, and an authentic and genuine sounding content. Finger painter creators must follow the Gorilla Tech community guidelines and promote them within their community. Finger painter creators must earn 5 content points each month after acceptance into the program to retain their status. And here you can see all of the points. So if you post a TikTok or a YouTube short, you get one point. If you post a YouTube video, you get two points. And if you post a YouTube video that's longer than 10 minutes, you get three points. So here's the form. It says that the applications will be reviewed on the first of each month and one to 10 creators will be chosen each month. You will receive an email by the fifth of each month detailing whether or not you have been accepted into the program. And in the form, you need to put in your influencer handle, your email address, your Gorilla Tech account ID, your age, your TikTok channel if you have one, and the amount of TikTok followers you have, your YouTube channel link if you have one, the amount of subscribers you have, what you like about Gorilla Tech, what kind of videos perform best on your channel, and then you need to read the trip community guidelines and the regular Gorilla Tech community guidelines and then pick if you will follow the guidelines or not. So there you have it, it's really cool that Gorilla Tech is finally doing something back for the content creators who helped this game grow. If you're interested and passionate then you should totally sign up. I know I'll be signing up so fingers crossed I will be accepted and good luck to you. The April Fool's update is here. This update changes your Gorilla size. 
Whoa, look at me. Everything is so small because I'm a giant. That's crazy. The whole map looks super small. Hey, look, people are even escaping the map. I'm going to try that. Well, I tried. So anyways, last year we got a creepy mask that you couldn't take off. And this year, you can change your size. Now, if you'd like to become super tiny, you gotta change your name to this. And boom, look at that. I'm super tiny now. That's pretty cool actually. Everyone is a giant compared to me. Now I'm scared. Look at the map. Everything is so huge. I even have to climb the slide. That's how big it is. Whee! And if you would like to be the biggest size, just change your name to all zeros. Okay, I know I'm late to the update, but can you hear my voice? Yeah, exactly. Better than no video. The world is in bloom. A gorilla attack is too. Celebrate the first signs of the season with the early spring flashback. I sound like I've been smoking for 40 years. Iconic branches and bunny themed items are back in the shop. Spring has officially sprung in the world of Gorilla Tag. Yay! Oh hey look, it's spring out there. Finally, I missed the cherry blossoms. Subscribe to the channel and let's smash 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Oh look, the spring flashback shop. I don't know how many of you played last year, but I remember all of these. First, we have the bunny ears, both costing 2,500 shiny rocks. And then we have the flower hats for 3,000, the Easter egg hats for 2,000, the butterfly for 2,500, and a piece of grass for 2,000. Wait. Wasn't this a free item last year? We then have gorillas in the pockets for 3,500 each, the cherry blossom branch for 5,000, and the silver one for 6,000. All right, so here are the ears. Oh, um, ignore my name. They're pretty cute, but I feel like we're missing the costume for it. Then we have the flower hats, not bad. The Easter egg hat. Now, only if we can get the bottom half of the egg as a costume. I'd buy that so fast. Here's the cute butterfly and a piece of grass and then all of the tiny gorillas in the pockets. Very cute. Here's the cherry blossom branch and the silver one. Whoa, that looks amazing. I actually love the new one. If you didn't know, this is how it looked last year. Way different. Did Gorilla Tech just leak the new map and game mechanic? Subscribe to the channel, like the video and let's investigate it together. As many of you may already know, we got some weird engraving on the walls in the canyon map. Some people claim they see palm trees, others see symbols and faces, but I think I figured out exactly what it's supposed to be. On the Gorilla Tech official Twitter account they posted this, saying, Legend says the ancient monkeys recorded the greatest secrets on the rock walls of canyons. Notice anything new lately? And a palm tree emoji. And this is very important. Looking back at the wall, you can see a palm tree as well as either a monkey swinging on vines or a monkey ziplining. Oh, you don't see anything? Well, let me sharpen the image for you. What about now? You can very clearly see three monkeys with no legs swinging. But I think it's just one monkey swinging and they're trying to show us how the new mechanic works. That's at least what I see. And let's not forget the fact that there's sand leaking out of the secret tunnel, possibly hinting at a beach map sometime soon. But what do you see on the wall? Let me know in the comments. Let's buy and review the Pot of Gold bundle in Gorilla Tag. I'm sure most of you already know that there is a St. Patrick's Day bundle in the shop. It says, get this fancy Pot of Gold bundled with 5,000 shiny rocks in this limited time DLC. It costs $19.99 and it gives you one exclusive cosmetic as well as 5,000 shiny rocks. It's not limited edition though, so it may be back next year, don't forget. Anyways, let's buy it and see if it's worth it or not. After restarting my game, I saw the pot in my inventory and here it is. Um... Oh, there we go. So, it's just coins falling out of the pot. Can I melt the coins? I don't think so. Okay, well, I guess that's it. It's kind of boring. Additionally, we get 5,000 shiny rocks, so let's go buy something. I'm thinking the wizard costume. Beautiful. I like this much more than the pot. Anyways, did you buy the bundle? Tomorrow, Friday 21st of April 2023 is when we're getting the next Gorilla Tech update. 
so hit like, subscribe and let's check out the sneak peeks. The developers just tweeted this out saying it's time for some spring cleaning and as you can see in the picture the monkey has a broom on its back possibly hinting at another house update. That's right some of you may remember that last year around this time we got a house update that brought us some interesting items you'd see in a regular household. This could be something similar possibly some cleaning products. Now I don't know about you, but I'm low-key hoping for a whole vacuum cosmetic. Either way, what do you guys think? Are you excited for the update? Let me know in the comments. The new update is here. Spring has sprung. Enjoy the warm weather with grilling outfit and items. Get your spring cleaning done with the new cleaning supply cosmetics. Buzz? Okay. Sounds interesting. You should definitely subscribe and leave a like if you want more videos like this one. Just do it. There it is. The spring cleaning shop. So it's not a house update that's for sure. That is a lot of cosmetics. First up we have a mop hat for 3000 shiny rocks. Then we have a rat costume for 2200. An apron for 2200. A laundry basket hat for 2200. And a red one for the same price. Ew, what is that? Look at the little teeth. This fly mask for 2500 shiny rocks, a free badge which is always nice, a broom for 5000 shiny rocks. Wait, that's the one from the sneak peek. A B plush for 4000, yellow gloves for 3000. Oh, and green ones also for 3000. Then we have this dustpan for 2500, a sponge for 4000. Um a feather duster thing for 3500. I think that's a vacuum for 5000. This thing for flipping burgers for 3500 shiny rocks. A pot lid for 3500. This pizza making thing for 3500. Cheese for 3200 and a mouse trap for 2500. Jeez, that's a lot of cosmetics. We will have to come back. Ooh, look, we have a flower balloon for 3000 shiny rocks. Let's start off with the gloves. Oh. You hear that? That's some good ASMR right there. And here are the green ones. Then we have the dustpan. Not really sure what to do with this. I guess we can do this. I like the little particles it makes. Next up we have the sponge, which you can just squeeze. The vacuum. Oh, that's cool. The spatula and the... Oh, wait a minute. So this is a sword and this is a shield. Wh oh, I'm gonna be so annoying in every lobby now. This thing, I don't really know anymore. The cheese. Wait, you can actually eat it. The mouse trap. Why is my finger purple like that? And the flower balloon. Okay, round two boys, let's go. First up we have the broom, which was in the sneak peek photo yesterday. Wait, I don't need to use both hands? I guess gorillas can clean with just one hand. The flower badge, the fly mask, and the wings move when you're moving. The basket hat, and the other one. The grilling apron, nice. The mouse costume. Watch this, I'm gonna eat cheese. Wait, wait a minute, what was that? Oh my god, I have a tail. The mop hat, this will definitely take someone's eye out. And finally, the bee plush. Now, let's check if anything has changed. Okay, so the cherry blossom leaves are still there and the secret tunnel is still closed. It just has a crack, meaning we have to keep waiting longer. Anyways, let me know which cosmetic you like the most. We've got an update today, let's check it out. The monkeys have been busy prospecting canyons looking for a fresh shiny rock vein. They picked up some skills but left a mess of things hanging about. So check out the new Wild West cosmetics or pick up favorite home items with the new household flashback. Canyons isn't big enough for the both of us, partner. All right, very fascinating. Subscribe to the channel and let's try to hit 100,000 this year. There it is. Wait, we also have cosmetics over here. Whoa, we have some kind of a uh, instrument. Maybe you guys know the name of it. 5,000 shiny rocks, a wolf plush for 4,000, a pickaxe for 4,000, a miner's hat for 3,000 shiny rocks, a wild west hat for 2,000, a bandana for 2,200, and a horse for 5,000 shiny rocks. And here's a household flashback sale. We have the silver utensils for 4,500, the golden utensils for 5,000. This was the first cosmetic I ever bought. Then we have the plunger hat for 2,000, a pot hat for 2,500, a cookie jar for 3,000 shiny rocks, a golden wrench for 4,500, and a silver wrench for 4,000. So here's a silver wrench, shiny. 
Here's the golden one. Then we have the cookie jar. I love cookies. The pot hat. The plunger. The golden utensils. Wait, which hand does the fork go in again? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. And here's the silver ones. Here we have the horse. It makes noise. Here is the bandana, which looks even better with the hat. Then we have the miner's hat and the pickaxe. Here is the wolf plush. And the banjo. Alright, let's check out what changed in the Kenyus map, shall we? Whoa, look at that! So much has changed. Wait a minute, the drawing is gone. Is that what it was about? But there are no palm trees. Oh my god, look! You can actually swing on the ropes. That's awesome. Wee! It's so easy to control too. I love it. It's so fun to swing on the ropes. I still have to get used to it, but it's pretty easy. And here's everything the monkeys left behind. Do you like this update? Gorilla Tech just posted a sneak peek for Friday's update. Subscribe, like the video and let's check it out. As many of you know, on Friday we're getting the next Gorilla Tech update, but nobody knows what the update will be about. Well, if you look at this photo from the official Gorilla Tech Twitter account, you see there are two monkeys wearing miner helmets and holding a pickaxe, going inside the secret tunnel in forest. But is it really the secret tunnel? First, let's focus on the shape of the entrance. It is way different than the one you currently see in the forest. So I thought it might be a different secret tunnel. However, if you look at the background, you see the same exact thing you would see if you go to the secret tunnel now. So that has to be it, right? Let's not forget that the miner helmet and the pickaxe came out last update, but it didn't really fit in with the canyons update. So this makes a lot of sense. I have a feeling the secret tunnel is going to be a cave of some sorts. It might even connect to the actual cave. But what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. Yes, the new Gorilla Tech update has been delayed for a whole week. So subscribe, like the video and let's look into it. Most of you already know that tomorrow on Friday we were supposed to get a new Gorilla Tech update. Electronic gave us a 7 days notice last week and everything was going great until today. The official Gorilla Tech Twitter account, the same one that posted the teaser last night, said Breaking news, mining monkeys stuck behind forest rock slide. Today's update is delayed by one week, so we can dig them out. Although, that might be having too much fun to want to help dig. Seven more days to get spring cleaning, household flashback, wild west, and pot of gold cosmetics. Electronic wrote this, we wanted to let you know that the upcoming update originally planned for today will be delayed by one week. We understand it's disappointing, but we're doing this to make sure it's absolutely awesome. The team is working hard to bring you the best version possible. We want to give you something that not only meets your expectations, but also blows you away. Quality matters to us, and we want to deliver something polished and super cool. This next update is a big one, so trust us, the wait will be worth it. For clarification, this also means that you have 7 more days to get spring cleaning, household flashback, wild west and pot of gold cosmetics. Thanks for being a monkey and sticking with us. So perhaps they need to fix some bugs or they need more time to work on the secret tunnel. So what do you think is behind the secret tunnel? Let me know in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe. The secret tunnel update finally came out. Excavator monkeys have cleared the fallen rocks, but the minor monkeys have decided to stay in the new oasis they found. What could be at the end of the tunnel? Get ready to explore with splashing new cosmetics and an exclusive scuba DLC. What? Did we just get a summer map? There's a tunnel. And now we know why the angle was so weird. The tunnel isn't completely open. Whoa, what is this? It's a huge cave. Look, orange crystals. Is that water? Wait, can we swim now? I'd rather not try just yet. We don't want to drown. Oh, look, a zipline. Okay, so we have to climb up. Should we jump in? We. No way, dude. We can swim now. That is so cool. All right, let's go up and see what we can find. No, what is this? Yo, we have a summer map. It looks awesome. There's lots of zip lines too. Look at this map. They really went all out.
What was that sound? I can't tell if that was a seagull or a baby. I really like the swimming mechanic. I think it's genius. We have all these wooden huts and tents. I really like hanging around here. This honestly might be my favorite map now. There's lots to explore this map and I'm sure I missed something, so... Let me know what I missed. How do we even get out of here? I wanna check out the cosmetics. Is this really the only way out of here? Well, that's kinda annoying. They should make it easier. Now we get to swim back. Okay, there's gotta be a better way, right? That map was awesome. I give it a solid 10 out of 10. I loved it. Now let's go check out the cosmetics. There it is, the summer splash shop. Look at all those cosmetics. First up we have the duck floaty for 3500 shiny rocks. This Hawaiian type costume thing for 2500. A summer shirt for 2000. A straw hat for 2200. A squid hat for 3000. A shark hat for 2200. Summer glasses for 2500. The inflatable armbands for 2200. Hey yo, what is this? A pair of shorts for 2500 shiny rocks, a coconut bong, I mean juice, for 3500, a shark toy for 4000, a hot dog for 3200, an umbrella for 5000, an ice cream for 3200, this mermaid set for 3000, oh and they even have a new balloon for 3000 shiny rocks. Here's the new bundle, it's a scuba gear with 10,000 shiny rocks for just $30. In my opinion, that's a crazy good deal, especially compared to the last pack. Alright, here's the squid hat, fun. The shark hat, the glasses, the arm floaties, oh my god, I'm a chad. The coconut water, here's the shark. I like that one. Here's the hot dog, the umbrella, here's the ice cream, I want one in real life right now. Here's the mermaid set, I can't take it off, get off of me. Oh, and the balloon. We then have the straw hat, meh. The summer shirt, this thing, and the duck floaty, which I really like. Today, we're flying inside the caves and seeing what the developers are hiding from us. Subscribe, like the video, and let's go. I don't know how many of you noticed, but in the newest... Oh my god, let me go! In the newest update of Gorilla Tag, the cave map is now blocked off, and you can't go inside anymore. Oh look, we even have the sign under the rocks. Anyways, I used Unity and flew through the wall. As you can see, this is where the entrance is supposed to be, but it's blocked off. So... What are the developers hiding? Well, so far I can't see anything new. I'm flying around and not really finding anything. The ice cube is still there. Oh, look at that. The mines are blocked off too. That's something you wouldn't know without Unity. There's obviously nothing in the mines because then the next update would be spoiled. So the developers made sure to hide everything from us. I wonder what the next update is going to be. Is the cave going to... Cave in? Alright, I'm sorry. That was a bad joke. But what do you think? Let me know your theories in the comments below. Let's review the new Summer Splash Pack. So for the price of $30, which is the most expensive pack we've gotten so far, you can get the scuba gear, the glasses and the tank, as well as this watch, and 10,000 additional shiny rocks. That's crazy. And this is why it's crazy. It's $40 for 10,000 shiny rocks which means you're getting 2200 shiny rocks for free. And on top of that, you'll have this exclusive set. So, let's give it a try. Okay. Oh my god. I think I got it. Let's go and check. No? If this happens to you guys, just restart your game. Here we are. Oh my god. So these are the cosmetics that you get with a pack. Here's the watch. And here's the gear. You can see the scuba tank and the mask it's actually not that bad i quite like this and on top of that we should have there we go 10,000 additional shiny rocks i'm rich now so obviously we have to try out the scuba gear right yes look at that the watch works it shows how deep you go into the water i wonder how deep we can actually go oh my god look at that wait no we can go deeper Let's try to get to blue at least. I mean, this blue. Yes, there we go. Wait, can we get to purple? I wonder if we can get to purple. So anyways, there's the button. So there you go, guys. That's the bundle. Let me know if you have it or if you're going to buy it or not. In my personal opinion, this bundle is very worth it because you're not only getting 2200 free shiny rocks, but also cool and interactive cosmetics. Let me know how deep you can go. Guys, we just got a new update. Rainy Day cosmetics are back. 
Jump in and let the world see your unique rainy fashion. Stay dry, stay stylish, and have a blast with our rainy day items. The rain won't last forever and neither will these items, okay? Also guys, subscribe, we're trying to hit 100k by the end of the year. Oh, there we go, look at that. We've got three umbrellas, the colorful one for 5,000, the golden one for 6,000, and the black one for 5,000. Oh, there's the shop. I was like, where is it? Rainy flashback. There we go, not many cosmetics. We have the clouds boots for 4,000, the golden boots for 5,000, and the yellow boots for 4,000. Then we have the rain hat for 2,000, the egg cosmetic for 2,000. I believe this used to be a free cosmetic last year. And then a raincoat for 2,000. All right, what happened here? We can't forget this umbrella, right? Right there. But then we have the colorful one. I have this one actually. We have the golden one. I'm not sure if you guys knew, but if you look very closely, you can see the city map. That's the entrance. That's the sign. Crazy. Then we have the black umbrella. I like this one. The clouds boots. The golden boots. Very shiny. As you can see, you can also see the city map. Yellow boots. Then we have the rain hat. Come away. And the rain coat. So that means, there we go. That's the whole set. And then here is the egg. Let me know where you guys are going to buy this update. And I'll see you later. What is this? Why is this red? Guys, I think Gorilla Tech just hinted at the next update, which seems to be the instrument flashback sale. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and let's check it out. So Gorilla Tech just tweeted this, saying, play it from the rooftops. And then a photo of a monkey playing a golden electric guitar, wearing the lightning bolt cosmetic. So... For those who don't know, last year in May, we got an update that brought us some new and interesting cosmetics that would change the game forever. These were the first ever cosmetics that made noise, and now since it's been a year, they're possibly bringing them back to the game. Now here's a list of cosmetics from last year. The orange hair, the black hair, the Daft Punk slash Yum Yum helmet, the lightning bolt face paint, the bongo drums, more drums, and then all of the guitars. But what do you think? Are you excited or are you upset? Like I told you guys yesterday, the music flashback sale is here. Jam out with the music flashback. Rocking guitars, drums, and accessories are back in the store now. Show off your style and play some tunes alongside your fellow monkeys. Summer splash and rainy flashback items are still available. So no new cosmetics, I guess. Oh, by the way, subscribe so we can reach 100,000 subscribers this year. I will love you forever. Look, there it is. Oh, that's weird. Why is it here? Well, here's the music flashback sign. So first off, we have the red wig for 2,500 shiny rocks. Then we have the black one, the Yum Yum helmet for 3500 Oh, and I guess that's it from here. Oh wait, we also have the face paint for 2000 Here's the electric guitar for 5000 shiny rocks, a golden one for 6000 and then we have the golden acoustic guitar for 6000 as well, and the normal one for 5000 Here are the drums for 4000 shiny rocks, and the two bongo drums for 3500 Alright, so here's the red wig, and the black one, the helmet, which I like. So here's the face paint, it looks cool. The electric guitar. And the golden one. It sounds the same. Here's the golden acoustic guitar. And the regular one. Then we have the drums. And the smaller one. Cool stuff. Are you gonna buy anything? The new summer update is here. Why is the board pink? Summer is here for the monkeys. There is plenty of fun under the sea to be had. If it gets too hot, there are new ways to beat the heat. At the end of the day, you and your friends can make camp and do it all again tomorrow. The shop is stocked with new cosmetics to slide into summer in style. Stay cool and look cool with the new items available now. I'm just gonna peek. Oh my god, okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's check the cosmetics first. Don't forget to subscribe, we're so close to 100k. And there we go, summer celebration. Slide into summer with these stylish cosmetics. 
First up, we have a hiking backpack for 2200 shiny rocks. Then, this private investigator looking set for 3500. Next up, we have a white polo shirt with a fanny pack for 2200 shiny rocks. A red Hawaiian shirt for 2000. A propeller hat for 2300. That's so cool. A 4th of July type hat for 2500. I don't even know what this is called, but it costs 2000 shiny rocks. A mustache for 1500. Sunglasses for 2500 shiny rocks. A mysterious suitcase. What is that? 4,000 shiny rocks. Is that a gorilla ring pop? What? 3,200 shiny rocks. A dolphin toy for 4,000. Strawberry milkshake for 3,500. Is this sunscreen? 3,200 shiny rocks. A compass for 3,500. Binoculars for 3,000. And bug spray for 4,000. Oh, I love this one. No balloon. Alright, so first up we have the propeller hat. I don't know how many of you remember, but I suggested this one in my cosmetic concept video last year. Here's the 4th of July hat, I think. I like it. Uh, this thing again. The mustache. The sunglasses. Now here's the ring pop, which you can actually eat. The dolphin toy. Oh god, fresh water. Yo, look, I'm peeing. What? Here's the strawberry milk. And then, wait, oh, it's an ice cream. It's like one of those SpongeBob ice creams. Here's a compass, which seems to work. The binoculars don't give you any advantage, obviously. That would be unfair. Here's the box spray that I'm gonna be using on everybody. The red Hawaiian shirt, it actually looks pretty good. And the white polo. I think this is a hiking outfit. Then we have the hiking backpack, a suitcase. Wait, can we open it? No, we can't. Well, comment below what you think is inside the suitcase. Whoa, dude. What? That is so cool. I like the tent. Oh, they even have a slip and slide? Here we go. Check it out, there's another tent. And another one here. And another slip and slide. And more stuff happening here. Let's check if there's anything new in the other maps. Wait a minute. That's new, right? Oh look, another tent here. This thing is new, right? I don't remember seeing that before. Dang it, caves is obviously still closed up. Nothing new in the clouds map. And nothing new in the mountains map either. Last but not least. Yo, more tents. And another slip and slide. Let me know what you think of the update in the comments. Gorilla Attack messed up and possibly leaked the next update to the public. Make sure you watch till the end because Unity will show us the new cosmetics and water balloons you can throw. It gets pretty crazy. As you know, on June 30th, we got the second summer update of the year. And in that update, there was something added that not many people knew about at the time. But there are hidden firework launchers. People are saying that there might be a live event in Gorilla Attack for the 4th of July. But I can officially confirm that it's not true. And much like the rocket in the city map, the fireworks launch randomly throughout the day. But what about the hidden cosmetics? When Electronic posted the summer celebration announcement, he attached this photo. Do you see anything wrong with it? Well, if you look close enough, you'll notice that there's a marshmallow on a stick cosmetic. And sure enough, I could find the cosmetic in Unity, along with this item. Now, this looks a lot like a handheld firework launcher. But according to the file name, it's... A candle? I'm just as confused as you are. Maybe it's a flare? And of course, we also have the water balloon. There's a bucket that is full of water balloons. How cool is that? And did you know you're supposedly able to pick up the water balloons and throw them at people? Now here's just one water balloon. And here's an audio clip called Water Balloon Grab. Take a listen. And another one called Balloon Splash. So it really does seem like water balloons were supposed to be a feature. Or maybe they will be soon. The new summer flashback sale update is here. The monkey's summer bash is still going strong. With under the sun flashback cosmetics now available, you can sizzle in style all day long. Grab your friends and head down to the beach to have a ball with all new activities. Then enjoy tasty snacks around the fire after a day of fun. Alright, let's check it out. Guys, we are so close to 100k, so don't forget to subscribe. Wait, fireworks? Oh my god, look, fireworks. Anyways... Ooh, look at that, the marshmallow on a stick for 4,000 shiny rocks. And the firework launcher, also for 4,000. They're actually out now. And you guys thought I was clickbaiting. There's the shop. We have blue sunglasses for 2,000. The black ones for the same price. The green ones and the purple ones. Then we have a sunburn for 2,000. I think this one was free last year. And sunscreen for 1,500 shiny rocks. 
Then we have an ice cream for 2500 shiny rocks, and a seagull hat for 3500, a popsicle for 3500, the bubble gun for 5000, and a rubber ducky for 4500. Oh, and the flamingo for 3500. So here are the blue glasses, the black ones, the green ones, and the purple ones. The sunburn, ouch. The sunscreen, the ice cream, you know, I would still eat that. And the seagull, I love this one so much. Here's the popsicle, and the bubble gun. Here's the rubber ducky and the flamingo. Cute. Now we have this. How does this even work? What? Ooh, okay, so it bounces off the walls. That is so cool. And then the marshmallow on a stick. Oh, you can actually eat it too. Look guys, I have the stick. Let's see if we can burn it. Oh my god, you can. That is so cool. There we go. That's how I like my marshmallows. Look! The water balloons! They're finally out! That's awesome! I'm glad they finally added those! And they are everywhere! Wait, more fireworks? What is that? Yo! No way! That is awesome! It actually works too! Yo, comment below if I should make a challenge video and invite you guys to play! Gorilla Tag just revealed tomorrow's update. This is crazy news, so don't forget to like and subscribe so we can hit 100,000 subscribers this year. As some of you may already know, on Friday, July 28th is when we're getting the next update. And today, Gorilla Tag tweeted out a sneak peek that shows us what the update is about. The mining monkeys have been hard at work excavating the path beneath the tree. Despite the shiny distractions, they have made many exciting new discoveries. What do you think this cave art could mean? And they also attached a photo of a miner monkey with their hands on a wall. Just by looking at the image, you can see the update is most likely going to be about the cave update. And personally, I think the cave art could mean that we're going to be able to climb on certain walls in the cave. I mean, just look at the miner. I, I mean, monkey. It kind of looks like he's climbing. Or am I just dumb? Some people also think we might be able to mine for shiny rocks. And I think that'll be very cool. But I seriously don't think that's going to be a feature. We already get 100 shiny rocks every day just by logging on. And so that would mean Gorilla Attack would make less money. The cave update is finally here. The miner monkeys developed new tools after the cave in. Dig into the adventure with shiny new accessories brought up from the caves below. Put on some new gear before you make your way down on the ground to uncover secrets both new and old. Will you be one of the brave monkeys to venture down into the crystal caverns? Probably not, but we'll see. <laughs> Guys, we're so close to 100k subscribers, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Oh my god, what is that on the top? Yo, there's no way. The added ghost eyes to the game. There's gonna be so many new ghosts now. Oh, the servers are down, so we can't buy anything yet. Okay, the servers are back up. The eyes cost 1500 shiny rocks. They look awesome. Just look at the party in my eyes. Next up, we have a crystal piano for 4500 shiny rocks. A dinosaur skull for 2500, bat ears for 2000, and bat wings for 3500. Very cute. A crystal necklace for 3000, a free crystal badge, Bothaya glasses for 1800, a crystal umbrella for 5000, a mushroom hat for 2200, a glowing mushroom for 3200. Is that an eel for 4500 shiny rocks? A flare for 3500, I think that's a geode for 3200, a drill for 5000. Is that a vape? I think that's a vape for 3500 shiny rocks, a diamond ring for 2500, and crystal hair for 3500. Oh, and we also have a balloon, 3000 shiny rocks. So here are the glasses, the umbrella, the mushroom hat, cute, the glowing mushroom. You can eat it? Oh, it is an eel. The flare. I knew it was a geode. That's so cool. The drill. What the hell? The vape. What? The diamond ring. The hair. The balloon. This thing. I like the dinosaur skull. Oh look, the bat wings move when you run. Here's the necklace and the badge. Guys, I'm a finger painter. Guys, I'm a finger painter. I'm a finger painter. Guys, we also have a new bundle. This one costs $29.99 and you get 10,000 shiny rocks as well as minor gear. Let me know in the comments if I should make a video reviewing the bundle. Now let's go down to the caves together. I'm scared, but let's see how it goes. Whoa. Hello? This place is so different. So far I'm liking it though. Wait a minute, there's a bat. 
Oh, this crystal sounds so magical. What shall we name the bat? I heard people want to name it Barry or Matt the Bat. Oh my god. God, look at all these crystals. I'm guessing the art on the wall shows us how to play a song. Just look at these. They're everywhere. I've noticed there's no mines though, which is interesting. There's even more crystals. Wait, you can even swim on the water. They should totally add a ghost monkey to the caves. I think it would make it so much better. They did it with Lucy before. What do you guys think? Is this update what you expected? Do you like this update? So this is the newest Gorilla Tech bundle. For just $29.99, you can get yourself 10,000 shiny rocks, as well as three exclusive cosmetics, the miner vest, the watch, and a helmet. So let's go ahead and buy it. Also, subscribe. We're so close to 100,000 subscribers. Okay, we're back. You own the bundle already. Thank you. Let's see if we do. Oh, there it is. So now we have 10,000 more shiny rocks, which is crazy. And if we go here, 29.99 would be these two together, which would mean that's 7,200 shiny rocks. And so you're getting like 2,800 free shiny rocks, as well as these cosmetics. So this is how it looks. Oh, we can turn it on. That's cool. Let's see if the helmet actually works. Oh god, I don't like going here by myself. Okay, the answer is no. <laughs> it's a cosmetic. It's still dark. So if you thought the helmet would uh, help you in the darkness, no, it's not gonna help you. Unfortunately, I wish it did. That would be awesome. We need a cosmetic like that. Now here is the watch. You may be wondering what this watch does. And it's pretty simple. See that? It's nighttime. Which means the watch shows it's night. <laughs> How cool is that? So now you know how long you have to wait until it's daytime again. So if you don't want to wait in game, you can just log on, you can check your watch, and then you can log off and come back when it's day again. Or if you don't like the daytime, you can wait and see how long it takes until the nighttime. That's pretty much it. It's an actual working watch. I like it. So anyways, let me know in the comments below what you guys think of this bundle and if you're going to be buying it or not. Guys, there's a new update in Gorilla Tech today. And it seems like Lemming forgot to change the board. Don't forget to subscribe, we're only 5,000 subscribers away from 100k. There it is, the Paint Roll Flashback Shop. We have the chest plate for 2,500 shiny rocks, this mask for 2,200, the camouflage vest for 2,500, and the mask for 2,200. And then we have the Arctic version for the same prices. Then we have the Mohawk for 3,500 shiny rocks, and the finger gun for 4,500. Oh, and here's the cardboard costume for 5,000, and the shiny armor for 5,000. So here's the chest plate armor, very sexy. The mask is decent. Here's the first paintball set and the second set. I like this one more. Then we have the mohawk hair. I like how it moves with you. Now here's something a lot of you have been waiting for, the finger gun. You hold your fingers out like a gun and then you just pow. Crazy, I know. Here's the cardboard set and the shiny armor set. Let me know how many of you remember this update from last year. The back to school update is here. I know I'm late. I was out of the country, okay? Jeez. Summer in the forest has faded and fall is rapidly approaching. With the new school year just around the corner, the monkeys are getting ready to show off all their new outfits and supplies. No matter how you choose to express yourself in the hallways, the back to school shop has it all for your new look this year. Back to school cosmetics, interesting. Guys, don't forget to subscribe, we're almost at 100k subscribers. And there it is. Oh, look at this. Anyways, first up we have a blue school uniform jacket for 2500 shiny rocks. Then we have a white shirt for 2200. Bro, if you wear this, you're a bully in real life. Then we have a snapback for 2000 shiny rocks. Jesus Christ. No, but this is me, up till 5 in the morning editing videos. We have Anthony from Smosh haircut for 2200. No way they added this to Gorilla Attack for 1800 shiny rocks, bro. Then we have this hat for 2200 and this drum for 4000. A pencil for 5000. A backpack for 4000. Braces for 1800. We have Converse shoes for 3500. Spiral glasses. Wait a minute, this is one of my old concepts from last year. It costs 2200 shiny rocks. And now Apple for 3200, a candy cane for 4000. Wait, why is there a candy cane in August? A water bottle for 4000 shiny rocks, a ring for 2500, and a very stiff whistle. Just how I like them. Wait, pause. Ooh, they also have a new balloon. It costs 3000 shiny rocks. Guys, comment below when school starts for you. All right, let's start off with this new set. Here's the balloon, the whistle, 
This will be good for challenges. I'm not quite sure why this ring is in this update, but okay. The water bottle? But wait, there's a catch. There is no water. Oh, you spit at people with this thing. Delicious apple. What the? Hey. I'm not sure why this is in the back to school update, but cool. These shoes? Oh my god. Hey. Oh, ew. Look at me. Here's the backpack. And apparently you can take it off and throw it too. Kind of cool. Um, actually, you can't throw it. Oh my god. Cut my life into pieces. Are these two supposed to be a set? Probably not, but they look good together. Here's the shirt and the jacket. And the last but not least, we have the pencil. That is one massive pencil. Oh god, I forgot I threw my camera here. Looks like the forest is all clean now. I cannot do this. Also, what is this game? Squid game? Are you guys able to do it? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe. Guys, we've got a new Gorilla Tech update today. Let's check it out. The monkeys are celebrating and remembering all of the fun they've had since the launch of Gorilla Tech. Whether you want to dress to impress or truly embrace your inner monkey, there is something for you in the returning launch flashback cosmetics. Grab the friends that made your time in Gorilla Tech special and head down to the city shop to let the confetti fly so no one guys we're so close to 100k subscribers come on subscribe oh there it is first up we have the creepy gorilla hat cosmetic for 2000 shiny rocks the tree head for 2500 this confetti launcher for 3500 the windmill for 3500 this uh flag for 3000 the blue monkey balloon for 3,000, the frog for 4,000, and then we have the rings for 2,500 each set, the tuxedo shirt for 2,000, and we also have the Alvin Presley costume for 3,500, as well as the Indiana Jones set for 5,000. Look, there's more up there. The cloud umbrella for 5,000, the cloud shirt for 2,000 shiny rocks, the rainbow slingshot for 5,000, these wings for 3,500, and finally, the cloud hat for 2,500 shiny rocks. Guys, why can't I jump so high? Is this part of the update? Let's start with a cute balloon. And here's the frog. I'm gonna have to clean my brain. Here are the rings. Very shiny. Here's the tuxedo shirt. The Alvin Presley costume. Wait, he was a dancer, wasn't he? The Indiana Jones costume with the shiny head. I've never seen the show. Here's the cloud umbrella. The cloud shirt and the slingshot. Just listen to it. beautiful the wings which are actually on your head and here is the cloud hat next up we have the flag here is me when you subscribe here is me when you're not subscribed so subscribe the windmill it actually moves when you move and the confetti launcher here's the tree head and the creepy monkey hat let's see if there's anything new in the clouds map also comment below if you played this game before it officially got released or not looks like there's nothing here okay bye if you haven't already noticed by now the new gorilla tag update is insanely broken so let's talk about it but first be sure to subscribe since we're about to hit 100k subscribers and if you don't like the videos you can always unsubscribe later so what happened on september 8th we got the gorilla tech launch day flashback sale update which brought back all the old launch day cosmetics from last year but there's so much more to this update first and foremost most of you may have already noticed that for some reason you get a huge jump boost now look at this this is very OP, and I feel like I have long arms now. I knew something was off when I first updated, but I didn't know what it was until now. Like, look at this. I'm barely moving, but I jumped so far. This makes the game easier, obviously, but it is just unfair. Next up, let's talk about the flying glitch. So, if you're playing on Steam and you jump up and open the Steam menu, you will literally freeze mid-air. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Look, 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 look. You get to float. Another problem is that the mods are now broken. Those who play PC VR, you probably noticed that the mods are broken, and now we have to wait for the mod developers to update their mods to the new version. Next are the connection issues. Lots of people couldn't join any lobbies or even connect to the game for the first few days, but it seems like it's fixed now. But that's not everything. Users reported crashing after grabbing a rope. Also, I think pressing your, your menu button while grabbing onto a rope crashes. The rope is literally one long now. Wait, 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 wait. There's no way. My game just crashed. Going invisible after grabbing a specific rope in caves and teleporting away. 
It's literally like you're using Invis Monkey. The size of everything being weird, when you go in and out of the basement maze, audio and mic doesn't work after opening the Steam menu, game audio and vibrations didn't always work, and you weren't even able to grab some of your cosmetics. But what is going on? Why are there so many bugs in Gorilla Tag now? Well, another Axiom, the developer team behind Gorilla Tag, decided to update their game's Unity version to a newer one. So a lot of things broke, and I'm pretty sure they know about it, and are working on fixing everything the next update. Anyways, did you notice all the bugs? Let me know in the comments. A volcano is being added to Gorilla Tag. Yes, seriously, I'm not even joking. Gorilla Tech just tweeted out a sneak peek for tomorrow's update. They said, we may finally understand where the first lava monkey came from. And they included this picture. As you can see, there's a massive volcano in the background. It looks amazing. I wonder if we're gonna be able to go up to it or not. But I'm guessing probably not. And it's just a background decoration. I also really hope it's gonna erupt every couple hours and give us a nice view across every map. Now, if you look at the monkey, however, you can see it's wearing a straw hat and a white shirt. I don't remember if those are last year's fall cosmetics or not. Side note, I have been working on a video that predicted the volcano, but I haven't been able to get it up in time. That sucks. Also, we're about to hit 100k, and if you subscribe right now, there is still a chance for you to join the under 100k club. But anyways, let me know in the comments below if you think this update is gonna be good or bad. And also let me know if you have any other predictions. Guys, the volcano update is finally out, and yes, I'm sick, so I sound like a dying horse. <laughs> Real quick, thank you everyone so much for 100k subscribers. I have a special video that I'm working on right now. Alright, now let's get to the update. The weather is usually cool this time of year, but forest is heating up. An active volcano has emerged. We can hardly hear the lava bubbling over the eruptions of laughter. Check out the shop to grab fun gear to handle the heat and the stylish cosmetics that will have you looking hotter than ever. Hey, yo! I mean, okay. Exclusive hashtag VRVR cosmetics will be in the city store for 24 hours starting December 23rd at 1 p.m. EDT. Help us make history. Yes, guys, be sure to join tomorrow for very exclusive cosmetics you can only get tomorrow. Wait, can I just have a peek real quick? Okay, that's enough for now. This is usually where I would tell you guys to help this get to 100k, but... Yo, what? Forest lava. Yo, check out this slingshot for 5,000 shiny rocks. Pick up your new fiery cosmetics and have a blast. Here's a volcano shirt for 2,000 shiny rocks, a white shirt with holes for 2,000, some lava gear for 2,200, a helmet for 2,500, the gloves for 2,500, next up we have hair with goggles for 2,200, a fire cap for 1,500, oh my god this is sick, this umbrella actually moves, it costs 5,000 shiny rocks. Then we have a free volcano pin, nice, a lava ring for 2500, it also moves. Wait, is this the finger gun thing? It costs 4500, that looks amazing. That's a Japanese fan for 4500, a volcano mug for 3500, I think this might be a lava rock, maybe a lava shell for 2900, a hot chili pepper for 3200, a phoenix for 4000, a hammer for 4500, this volcano hat for 3000, and finally the lava he has for 2200 no new balloon so here is the umbrella on the inside guys i might have to cop it it just looks so cool here's the volcano pin the lava ring bro why am i shaking all right whoa oh okay it's a little rocket that's so cute here's the fan i really like the effects on this thing what was that guys look here's the volcano mug and here's my POV, here's a lava rock, I'm not sure how it works. Oh wait a minute, wait can you hear that? Here's the pepper. Whoa, not funny dude. Watch this. I like the monkey noises. The phoenix plush. I like it. And here's the hammer, and I don't know how to use it. The volcano hat, and the straw hat. Here's the fire cap, here are the goggles. I look like a Pokemon trainer. The lava suit. You can actually see my face with this camera, but you're not supposed to. I think someone's shirt got burned from the lava. The volcano shirt. And here's the lava slingshot. Whoa, what is that? Wait, is that Hot Cheeto? Alright, let's go check out the forest now. That volcano looks so beautiful. I don't think it's a map though. Oh look, a smaller volcano. What's this? Are these rocks? Do I just throw them into the volcano? Oh, okay, it fills up. I wonder if it's gonna erupt. So I just joined a public lobby, and there's lava everywhere, dude. This update is huge. Alright, let's fill it up again. Guys, the lava is coming! Oh, 
Oh no! This is the end. Goodbye. Alright guys, so we are here. We are VR has started currently at 28 no 58,000 people online. The servers went down a couple times, unfortunately. There's also an update and people are just not able to join any lobbies. Alright, so look at this. I'm not in a room. Then let me go into the forest map, for example. And I'm not connecting. The servers have died. Like, I can go to the city, and even the city doesn't work. But this video is about the new cosmetics. The new exclusive We Are VR cosmetics right here. These are only available for 24 hours, so get them as soon as you can. We have the cardboard VR headset for 2200 shiny rocks. So this one actually costs money. And then we have the badge, and this one is free. It is just a monkey wearing a white VR headset. This is how the headset works. Uh, you can see everything, but then you can also close it. And now you can't see anything except a monkey in, in the forest map, pretty much. And then you have to open the mask by doing this motion on your face. I had no idea how to do that when I joined for the first time. Guys, can you open the headset? Uh, uh, do the, hold on, hold on, stop. And here is the badge, right there. I like it though. It's free, you can't really complain. Plus, it's like, you know, monkey, you know, wearing. A VR headset, how cool is that? I like it, I'm not complaining. I just wish the servers actually worked. I was able to meet some of you guys, but unfortunately not many. Gorilla Tech just posted a sneak peek for tomorrow's Halloween update. But first, be sure to subscribe and like the video if you're excited for tomorrow. Just a few minutes ago, Gorilla Tech posted this sneak peek to Twitter, saying he did the monkey mash, it was the graveyard smash, which is obviously a reference to Monster Mash, a song by Bobby Pickett. <laughs> He did the monster. They also attached a photo of a green monkey wearing a Frankenstein set, which is actually one of my old cosmetic concepts. My last concept would be a Frankenstein head. I am honestly so surprised this doesn't exist already. In the background, you can see a tombstone and a candle, as well as orange leaves. And if you look closely into the treehouse, you will see there's a few candles inside. I also wonder if Lucy is coming back. I really hope she is because she made the update so much more fun. But let me know all your predictions in the comments below. What do you guys think? Is this update going to be good or bad? All right, so we have the, we have the gloves, so we have... Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ! Yo! Yo! What the heck? The Halloween update is here, finally, yes, okay. You do not need to be a skeleton to feel in your bones that Halloween is almost here. The monkeys have worked hard to decorate to get ready. There are ghosts lurking. Huh? There are ghosts lurking, cauldrons bubbling, and jack-o'-lanterns glowing around every corner. If you brave your way to the city shop, you will find all sorts of cosmetics to dress up for Halloween with. There's a new pack and a variety of masks and accessories to complete with your costume, so you can take part in the spooky celebrations. Yo! Oh my- Okay, we'll get to that, we'll get to that, but first, I'm gonna join my members. Guys, become a member of that channel and you can review the next update with me. How are you guys? Whoa! What the hell? Yo! Wait, I can hear a zombie. Let's go check the cosmetics first. What is that? That's- that's cool. I like that. Oh my god. Whoa. Jeez. That looks awesome. All right, well, there we go. Halloween. And it looks like we have some new cosmetics here today. Flash out your costume with these creepy crawly cosmetics. Well, we have a guitar for 5,000 shiny rocks. What is this? What is that? It's like a pyjama or something. I don't know. 2,500 shiny rocks. We have a skeleton costume. That looks cool. 2800 and a skull for 2200 and we have the Frankenstein costume 2500 shiny rocks and the, the gloves for 3000 then we have oh my god that's some kind of instrument for 4500 oh no way that's so cool for 4500 shiny rocks we have a ring 3500 a small cauldron for 3500 a cat for 4000 oh god no I no I don't do spiders these guys do they're Australian 3200 shiny rocks. I swear I just heard something. And then we have a bunch of masks. We have this one for 2000. Um, that's really creepy. This one for 2000. This one for 2000. Oh, and then we have a free cosmetic here. That's cool. Yo, and they have a new pack too. Wait, that's so cool. What the heck? Yeah, no, that's actually cool. Yeah. That's like a whole 
$29.99 and you get 10,000 shiny rocks with it. Be sure to subscribe and I will do a review on this pack. Alright. Whoa. I like the lights. Very creepy. Let's check them out. We have the Frankenstein hat. Okay. Um, Lucy's back. <laughs> I just heard her. Pretty sure she's gonna come here any moment now. She's on her way. I know that. Okay. Alright, so we have the we have the gloves, we have Whoa! Whoa! Jesus Christ! I knew she was back. Yo, that's awesome though. Then we have this. Oh god. We have church music here. Alright. Then we have this. No! Whoa! No! I killed him! Oh, I killed I killed my own member. Then we have then we have a ring. Does it do anything? Oh wait, it kinda has small particles coming out. Uh when we have a cauldron. We can, we, can, we can drink this potion. Does anything happen? No, nothing happens. All right. We have a black cat. Oh, look at the claws. That's so cute. Oh, God. Oh, God. It, oh, my God. Why does it move like that? Next one. Next one. We have a mask. Another mask. That's really creepy. Okay. And now uh, the candy corns. That's cool. All right, I like that. This is a uh, what is that called? Um, it's like a dressing gown or something. And then the skeleton costume. Yes, you can become Lucy. Epic. Okay. Well, we have the giant pumpkins in the middle of the city map. No balloon. Okay. Yo. Oh. Look at this. What's that? That's trippy. A lot of these are the same from last year, but honestly, I don't mind because. The more the better. What is this? It's like, it's like when you're in Harry Potter and you put your name in the Goblet of Fire. I love the fog. It gives like the spooky vibe. Um, let's go here. Boda is back. There's Boda. <laughs> oh God. Okay, anything upstairs at all? Yo, what is that? What? What? A secret what? cosmetic? 5,000 shiny rocks. Wait, is that? No, that's a different cosmetic. That's a different cosmetic. Probably gonna go back to normal after the Halloween update. Let's go check on Lucy. Pretty sure she's in the same place as last year. Yo, what? Yo, what is that? Yo, wait, so I'm guessing you put this in the cauldron, right? Oh my god. Yo. Yo, what is happening? Why is it black now? What happened to it? I don't know. There it is. That's how it looks. This is the regular one. This is this is the golden one. All right, Lucy, where are you? Is she here? Yep, there she is. Lucy's back in the same place as last year. Yo, what was that? I just heard a ghost. There's a ghost somewhere. You, you guys are gonna have nightmares. Oh my God, there's a cute little skull here. Wait, it's downstairs, I think. No, no, oh God. No. Guys, I feel so bad for oh, you. No. you it's like three in the morning for them. Oh yeah, there's new paintings. But these guys are the same. Is that is that new? What the heck? Yo, nah, bro. What just made that sound? I don't know. Yo, nah. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Whoa. We have coffins now. That's new. That's also new. A lot of the, a lot of the things are new. Yo, what is this? Oh, that's the campfire. Purple fire, I love that. Just like my profile picture. Lucy's here. Yo, the cauldron is here. Wait. What? Yo, what? What do you mean a broom? What is it? No, no, no. Come nah, bro. What in the Harry Potter is going on? Why is it so fast, bro? I don't think we were meant to catch it. I don't know. Are we? Yo, oh my god. Yo, this is so cool. <laughs> Yo. Oh my god, this is so cool. It's like, it's like Uber, but in Gorilla Attack. Yo, this goes so fast, bro. Oh my god. This is probably the ba Yo, the ghost! The flower's back. So do I just drop the flower into the cauldron again? It just turns black. I'm so confused. What is that sound, bro? Yo, Jesus Christ! Yo, yo, put it in the cauldron. A ghost just spawned right in front of my face. Oh, it's black again. I wonder if they update the clouds. Lots of pumpkins here. We have more purple fire. Some ice. Just... 
There's no way Lucy is in the clouds map too. Oh, we have the cauldron here as well. Yo, what? Oh, look, there's a broom. Where's the ghost? What happened to your voice? Oh my god, the colors. It's so bright and colorful. I know Lucy spawns up here. Oh, there's a broom! Another one! I think there's one in every map. Let me catch up to the broom, please. No! You sped up right as I got- Oh my- Missed my train. Last year we had a giant cobweb. Looks like that no longer exists. But how did the brooms there? Yeah, the brooms seem to be in every map, which is cool. I love the brooms. If I can just Harry Potter my way onto it. No! Honestly, not- Whoa, hello. Wait, Hi. are you a member? Uh, nice to meet you. Are you a member? Yeah. Oh, okay. I High five. Meet, but nice to meet you. I love this oh, update dude, this so much. Cool. I know. Look, like, all the decorations, all the brooms and stuff. And now they added ghosts? Oh, no. Oh, wow. All right, I have my weapon out. I'm ready. Oh, the Ooh. crystal is green now. Wait, they're trying to call us. Wait, where's Matt? Uh, oh, yeah. We found Matt. Oh, there he is. Okay. So nothing new about Matt. Don't drown, Matt. Look at this. The skull is back. Yo! What the heck? What the heck are you doing to me, dude? Yo! <laughs> Go away, dude! Leave me alone! Oh my god. What the heck? That looks so cool at night. Yo guys, they added me to Gorilla Attack. Alright, I think that's everything for the update. So the Halloween update is here, and you might have already noticed that there's these cauldrons in every map. Well today, as a magic monkey, I feel like it's my responsibility to show you how to use them, and actually brew all of the potions. So subscribe and like the video for more Gorilla Attack easter eggs. First up, it's important for you to know what you can actually put in the cauldron. As tempting as it may be, please don't put dog in the cauldron, it won't do anything. You gotta focus on these flowers. There's four different colors, red, yellow, green, and purple. And there's only one way to get them, ghosts. No, seriously, there's this blue ghost that will fly around and drop the flowers. You can't see the ghost unless you look through the crystal ball. However, you can hear it. The louder it is, the closer you are. Eventually, the ghost will stop and drop one of the four flowers and you can pick it up. When you drop a flower into the cauldron, it will most likely burn and turn black. That's because you need to add them in a specific order. There's only one potion you can brew, a zero gravity potion, that also spawns evil witches in the sky. But there's different combinations for each map, so let's go over all of them. In the forest map, it's red, yellow, green. In the canyons map, it's purple, red, green. In the city map, it's yellow, green, red. In the mountains map, it's red, yellow, purple. And in the beach map, it's green, yellow, purple. When you do it correctly, you get a temporary zero gravity effect. And you can see and hear witches flying around you. That's just my parents. Tell them I said hi. Alright guys, the Halloween update came out yesterday. And with it, we also got a new bundle. The Spider Monkey Pack. It costs $29.99. And with it, you get a spider body, a spider hat, a bow, and 10,000 shiny rocks. Is this pack worth it? Well, let's find out. So if you look at the prices, you go to purchase, that bundle costs $29.99, which means you're pretty much buying 7,200 shiny rocks. So you're getting 2,800 shiny rocks for free, and also you're getting the limited time cosmetics. Okay. Boom, there we go. You own the bundle already, thank you. Oh, there it is, look at that. That was fast. So here is the spider body. Oh God. I don't like spiders. The hat and the bow. All right. Oh God, look at that. So the spider legs and the eyes move when you're moving. That is very, uh, very disturbing. Oh, look at that, look at that butt. So the spider butt also moves. I'm gonna show you a better angle. Yeah, we made Lucy, but where is she? You already got the person who moves. Yeah, damn. Someone help us. Help us then we have the bow that looks like a spider egg so I already know what's gonna happen oh what I expected tiny spiders to come out of the spider egg I guess not I think that's a spider egg right maybe that's just cobweb 
Maybe I'm just stupid. So there you go. This is how the bow works. But also, let's not forget that you are getting 10,000 extra shiny rocks. So now I'm rich. So is it worth it? Let me know in the comments. Listen, I know I'm late, okay? But the Halloween flashback sale is here. I wonder if we're gonna get both of them or not. I was in Poland for two weeks, so I'm very late to this. I'm sorry, guys. There it is. Oh, look. Both of them. Here's last year's Halloween flashback. We've got the mummy hat for 1500 shiny rocks, the boo bag for 2000, the pirate hat for 1500 shiny rocks, the witch nose for 1000, these creepy eyes for 2200, eyeglasses for 2200, the fun sized candy bar for 2000, and a big chocolate bar for 3000, a unicorn holdable for 5000 shiny rocks, the spider umbrella for 5000, then we have the Yorick skull for 4000, and the slingshot for 5000. Oh look, the pumpkin cosmetics are out here. So it's 2000 shiny rocks for this one, uh, 2000 shiny rocks for this one as well, and then we also have the tiny pumpkin cosmetic for 2000 shiny rocks. Up there we have the 2021 Halloween cosmetics. Here's the robot set for 5000, the cowboy set for 4000, the super gorilla set for 4000 shiny rocks, the unicorn set for 4,000, the clown set for 4,000, the old clown set for 4,500, why is that more exp- whatever. The princess set for 4,500 shiny rocks, the werewolf set for 4,500, and finally the vampire set for 4,500 shiny rocks. So here's the mummy mask thing, the paper bag, which actually used to be free two years ago. Here's the pirate hat, or as some people like to call it, Tyrone's durag. What, what, what am I, why am I- Here's the witch nose, it fits me doesn't it? Very creepy eyes, and the other ones. Here's the small candy bar. Ah, you can't eat it. And here's the big one. You can't eat this one either. Here's the unicorn. Next up we have the umbrella. And here is Yorick that keeps looking at me. Then we have the slingshot. I love it. Here's the first pumpkin hat. And here's the other one. Oh, and the cute tiny one as well. Then we have the robot bundle. The sheriff one. I like this one. The superhero set, the unicorn bundle, the everyone that's not subscribed bundle, the OG clown set, the princess set, the canine bundle. Hey guys, it's canine. Okay, bye. And finally, the Dracula set. What do you guys think of the update? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, bye. The fall update is out. Leaves have fallen in the forest and there's a chill in the air that only happens this time of year. The monkeys have been working hard to set the scenery with hay bales and scarecrows. They have also been cooking up some hot new cosmetics fresh out of the oven. The city shop is full of delicious treats like turkey and gravy. Just make sure not to get too full on pie so that you and your friends can go play in the leaves. That sounds fun. Ooh, look at that. Guys, hit the subscribe button. It should be glowing right now. That's cool, isn't it? Why are there hay bales here? Oh, and look at all the corn. Um, what is that? So here's the fall shop. Give thanks with all the automatic yeah. themed cosmetics. What in the holy world is this? A turkey cosmetic for 3000 shiny rocks. Then we have a turkey head for 2500. A turkey face shirt for 2000. A steaming hot turkey shirt for 2000. A pie hat for 2000. This pink cottage core hat for 2000. A fedora hat for 2000 shiny rocks. A turkey scarf for 2000. Nah, bro, what is this? Another turkey costume for 3000 shiny rocks. I can't wait to get stuff. Nah, whoa, pause. What the hell? Then we have an apple pie slice for 3000. A squirrel? Guys, that's so cursed. It costs 4000. And chocolate milk for 3500 shiny rocks. Oh, cool, we also have a new balloon for 3000 shiny rocks. We've got some decorations over here. Kind of random, but. Alright, so here's the Canada balloon, then we have the turkey head, and the turkey costume. Oh my god. We have the first shirt, and the one from the sneak peek. The pumpkin pie hat, the pink hat, and the fedora. Here's the scarf, it's cute. The turkey body, wait, why can I jump so high? I swear something is broken. Then we have the pie slice, the cursed squirrel, and finally, the hot chocolate. It feels so empty in here. This update is so cursed. Man, I miss the Halloween update so much. It feels so weird now that it's gone. So far, from what I can tell, everything is the exact same as it was last year. I think this Hable Tower might be new. Let's check canyons. Okay, so just some corn, hay bales, and scarecrows. Well, what about caves? Nothing new here. Oh hey, Matt the Bat is back to normal again. Some more copy-paste decorations in clouds. Frozen hay bales in mountains. I like that. And last but not least, the beach map. 
I'm guessing there's some more copy paste decorations there too. Yep. Oh well. Whatever. Never mind. What do you guys think of the update? Let me know in the comments below. Gorilla Tech just teased the Christmas update, and there's a couple of secrets that you might have missed. Just a few minutes ago, the official Gorilla Tech Twitter account tweeted out saying "blending into the scenery," and they attached this picture of the forest map covered in snow with trees all around. Now, I don't know about you, but I do not remember these trees being here last year, so that's definitely new. One of the trees looks very different from the rest, the Christmas tree. <laughs> It looks like it could be a new Christmas themed cosmetic because you can actually see the monkey's hands at the bottom and the tweet status is blending into the scenery, so it makes sense. But that's not everything. If you look at the purple monkey, you will see it has a snowflake badge on it. That's definitely a new badge because as of right now, you can't find it in the store. I definitely know a couple people that need a snowflake badge. In the background, you will see Christmas lights hanging everywhere. Wait, can someone tell me what this is? Shout out to Juan by the way, he's the one that talked about it first. I have no idea what it could be. Another thing that I noticed is this subscribe button. You should totally click it below. It should be glowing and begging for you to click it. Also, did anyone notice the sign behind them? Now that's new. I also saw this fence and it looks like it's only around the trees, meaning it could be a little tree farm area. Anyways, what do you guys think? Are you excited for the update? Let me know in the comments below. The Christmas update is finally here and wow, I'm already seeing stuff. The sound of jingle bells and the smell of fir trees drifts into the forest with the snow. It is officially holiday season. Winter has swept in from the beach to the mountains, with holiday decorations aplenty. Explore the snow globe or ride the brand new Monkey Express. What? Shine like a star atop of the tree, with brand new gifts from the store. The perfect way to celebrate the giving season. Let's take a little sneak peek. Oh my goodness. Look, there's more stuff. Alright, let's first check out the cosmetics. That's cute. Whoa, look at the Christmas tree. And there it is, the Holiday 2023 Cosmetic Shop. Wait a minute, this is from my cosmetic concept video. We have the Christmas lights for 3500 shiny rocks, a blue shirt for 1800, a green sweater for 2500, an owl for 3500, I love owls, mistletoe glasses for 2000, a snowflake badge for free, a blue hat for 1700 shiny rocks, a whistle, for 3500, a golden gift box for 5000, a snowflake staff for 4500, whoa the snow globe is back, a bell for 4000, a christmas tree cookie for 3200, a monkey voodoo doll for 4000, a nutcracker monkey for 4000, a dreidel for 4500, and a snow globe for 3000 shiny rocks. We have a new bundle, I knew the christmas tree would be a bundle, it costs 29.99 and it comes with 10,000 shiny rocks, as well as the christmas tree body, the hat and the saw. Subscribe and like the video if you want me to review the bundle in tomorrow's video. So here's the snow globe. I like it. Then we have the dreidel. Wait, can you actually spin it? Oh my god, it works. And we got hay. Let me try that again. Wait, so we can just walk away from it? That is so cool. And we got shin. Awesome. Here's the monkey nutcracker. Oh, it's one of those. I get it. Here's the voodoo doll looking thing. That is scary. Then we have the Christmas tree cookie. Wait, I can't eat more than that? The hell? The bell. Here's the stuff. I don't think it does anything though. The gift box hat. The whistle. Sorry. The blue hat, the snowflake badge, the mistletoe glasses, owl hat, and it actually moves when you move. So cute. The Christmas sweater, the blue shirt, and the Christmas lights. They look great. So now let's go inside the globe. Whoa, it's so trippy in here. That's so weird. Let's check out the other maps though. First up we have the forest. And wow, a lot has changed. So first we have a new area over here. Look, it's a train. I wonder if we can actually get on it. Lots of new decorations. Wait a minute. Is that a slide? I wanna get on it. How do I turn small? Well, it turns out all you have to do is just grab the train and you will become a tiny monkey. You're welcome. There's lots of small decorations everywhere around the map, which is very cool to see. So turns out the sign from my last video is just a tree drawing. And here's the tree area we saw in the sneak peek. What is this? What? That's so weird, I think they're little balloons. On top of Stump, you see an old snowman from last year. I did not expect to see anything inside the treehouse. Banshee is living like a millionaire. We have some snowmen over here, and here's canyons. 
Wow, lots of new stuff. We have another train right here, some more Christmas lights, and even a Christmas tree. Let's see if Caves has anything. I did not expect Caves to also have decorations. That's awesome. Wait a minute. Oh my god, that's adorable. Matt is wearing a tiny Santa hat. More Christmas lights and more snowflakes in here. And we even have the weird balloons in here. I still don't know what you're supposed to do with them. Next map is clouds. All right. So far so good. These are awesome. And even more stuff in here. And this guy is back too. All right, next up we gotta check out mountains. Another train in here and a lot of candy canes. You know what? I like this update. There's also some stuff up there. How does the igloo not melt? Wait, I wanna check something. No way. Doug is also wearing a tiny Santa hat. Last but not least, we have the beach map. We've got a couple of decorations in the cave. And boom, there it is. The beach map is full of stuff. That's awesome. Wait, I wanna see this. What is this? It looks like a game you can play somehow. Let me know in the comments if you know how to play. Also, let me know what you think of this update. All right, let's review the brand new holiday fur pack. So in this pack, you get this Christmas tree costume, which means you get the body, you get the hat, and finally you get the little saw. And obviously, let's not forget, you get 10,000 shiny rocks, all for the price of $29.99. So let's buy it and see if it's worth it. Also, subscribe and like the video if you want me to make more videos like this one. All right, it looks like it worked. You own the bundle already, thank you. Okay, so now if we go check my shiny rocks, and there it is, 24,000. So I just got 10,000 new shiny rocks. Now let's go, <laughs> wow, look at that, there it is. I was just gonna say, let's go look at the cosmetics. There is the headpiece, oh my god. There's the body. And there is the holdable. So this is how the full set looks. When you're moving, the entire tree is basically moving, which is pretty cool. It's very detailed. And then we have the saw. Oh my god, it is so like... Wait, can you hear that? That's cursed. <laughs> what is that? It sounds weird. But here's the saw. I think it's made out of paper. It worked! No, it didn't. You know, this looks weird though. If you're not wearing the hat, you kind of just like, you look like you're inside of a Christmas tree. All right, anyways, what do you guys think? Is it worth it? As always, let's do simple math. So for $29.99, which would be this plus this, you would only get 7,200 shiny rocks. Whereas over here, you're getting 10,000. And so not only are you getting more shiny rocks, you're also getting these cosmetics. And I just want to make it clear, this is not an exclusive pack. So it will be back next year. Do you guys think it's worth it? Or do you think it's not worth it? I'm going to ask random people. Let's go. Yo, guys, I got the finger painter badge. Yo, I want to see the finger painter badge. But, but you want to see the finger badge? Like I want to see it. You want to see the finger badge? Yeah. Where are you going, bro? Cosmetics are here. Yo, you have the bundle. Yeah. What do you think of it? Is it cool? Yeah. This is the tree. Yo, there's another Christmas tree. Oh my god. There's so many of us. Let me show you what happens to Jeffrey. What happens to Jeffrey? Hello. Oh my god. Hello, Christmas tree. Hello, Christmas tree. Yo. No. Actually, sure, sure. I'll say something very, very offensive. Well, don't do it. I dare you. I dare you. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah. You're stinky. Run. Run, guys. He's gonna report me. He's gonna get me banned. The Christmas flashback update is here. There seems to have been some holiday mischief occurring in the city. Monkey Claus and his elves have moved the flashback cell to the second floor of the nice gorilla store. At least they were kind enough to decorate the festive path leading you there. If only they could find the box with the 2021 items. What? Guys, subscribe to the channel. I will be giving away 22,000 shiny rocks very soon. And there it is. Wait, what? Why is it 2023 flashback? Floor 2 now open for business. Still searching for box label 2021 there's nothing in here we have a flashback sign here and a path leading us to the second floor hey look tiny elves so the cosmetics are over here first we have the stick for 4,000 shiny rocks a stick 
an elf toy for 4,000, a Christmas pudding for 3,200, a gingerbread man for 3,200, a snowman outfit for 4,000, a Christmas sock hat for 2,500, a Christmas sweater for 2,500, gloves for 3,000, antlers for 2,500, a giant hat for 2,500, reindeer nose for 2,000, these rings for 2,500 shiny rocks, and more rings, the hamburg outfit for 4,000, and a Santa outfit for 4,000, the 2024 glasses for just 100 shiny rocks, and the Christmas umbrella for 5,000. So here's the sock hat and the Christmas sweater, I like it. The gloves, here are the antlers, the oversized hat, and the reindeer nose. Here's the first set of rings, and the second set, then we have the hamburg outfit, and the Santa outfit. I don't like these. They look exactly like the 2023 glasses. Very lazy design. Honestly, I don't even want to spend my money on it. And I- oh! And then we have the umbrella. Here's the world's most expensive stick. Just why? The elf toy. Here's the pudding. Hey, now we have a coin. The gingerbread man. And finally, the snowman costume. So what exactly do they mean that they couldn't find the 2021 box? I've been looking everywhere. I think they're talking about the files. It looks like Lemming lost the 2021 cosmetic files. That is hilarious. Anyways, what do you guys think? Are you going to buy anything? Let me know in the comments and click on your screen right now to watch me buy the entire store. Yes, seriously. It was very expensive.